This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, mothers, lock up your baked goods because we're talking American pie. I'm Andrew Jupin. Hairy-armed Steven Sadak. <laughs> Eric Siska. <laughs> Shipwreck. And we hate movies. Welcome to We Hate Movies. Thank you for tuning in. As always, that's right. We're talking about a movie I don't think any of us had seen in a really long time. This is American Pie, y'all, from 1999, directed by Paul Weitz. um, Mm -hmm. With the shadow of Chris Weitz. Yes, uncredited. Yes. You uncredit that brother. (laughs) (laughs) Did you go to court to take him off? Which one of them continued directing movies? Paul did. Uh, Chris, I was looking it up, is like doing script punch-ups. He's involved in Disney's Pinocchio that's coming out late this year. So no, no one is oh. crying for money, but uh, oh, well, Paul is the one like that makes movies. Still. Chris has Got also it. been making some movies. Operation Finale, uh, A oh, Better yes. Life, Twilight Saga, New Moon, Golden Ooh. Compass. Oh, oh yeah. Chris was the one that went to do those movies. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Paul White's didn't he direct that Scarlett Johansson movie where she made fun of purchase? In uh, good oh, company. I, yeah. He did that. American Dreams, Little Fockers, Bean Flynn. Oh man, oh, Little Fockers, Grandma. Grandma. He was involved what? in Bo- Mozart in the Jungle, if you could believe oh. it. Oh, oh yeah, That's your parents sad. are watching that on Amazon. Oh. <laughs> like sands through the hourglass. <laughs> so is Mozart in the Jungle. You What's should it? see Malcolm McDowell in this show. He's <laughs> phenomenal, Stephen. Yeah, he fucks a papaya. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of fucking, man, I mean, this movie starts off with what a total flashback, scrambled pornography. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of uh, scrambled pornography, let me just hit play really quickly here. Oh, man. Coming soon yeah! to theaters. Uh, it's the VHS uh, trailer game, you lucky oh, sons of bitches. Shit. Favorite game about obsolete materials. I am your game master, Steven Sadak, and these are my clues. Mm-hmm. Wow, yes, we, we should mention nice. real quick, Steve. That the updated rankings, I believe Andrew's in the lead. He was awarded 58 big points the last <laughs> game. You know, uh, I've been quiet about that because <laughs> it what, what annoyed me so much. It what? annoyed me so much. Uh-huh. The farce that you pu- you boys put on on the Expendables 2 episode. I almost, <laughs> hey. I almost quit. You know what? I Listen, I got a report. That there, you know, you could look at all the cell phone signals, okay, uh-huh. and you uh-huh. knew where the VHS tapes were getting <laughs> dropped off, and we knew that you were fucking clogging Chris's mailbox as oh, your cell shit. phone drove past his house at yeah, least two true. times. <laughs> yep, <laughs> uh, that's impossible because my cell phone, like me, can't drive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. Steve, was that your phone driving a car? <laughs> if, I, if my phone could drive, my wife would like me more. At least one of us could. <laughs> um, yeah, Jen's Zen, Jen is on it. Yes, yeah, she is. No, so that was bullshit that no one could even possibly Wait, whoa, care whoa, whoa, about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Those, I mean, it was the same premise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it was, <laughs> but it was the preview game. I'm, I, we're, yeah, we're, of course. Come back. Hosted by your piece of shit, Chris Cabin. Speaking Hi there. of anything. <laughs> so the, we are rounding into the finale here of uh, the VHS trailer game. Kind Can't of exciting. Kind of exciting, folks. Uh, we've got this episode and then in August, we're going to release RoboCop 3, which will have the big finale on there. And that's going to have some, that's going to be a, a bigger, a, a bigger trailer game. So, a jam, I should say. I apologize. A yeah. Jam, of oh, course. yeah. I didn't Please. know what you were talking about for a yeah. second. Well, excuse me. So, uh, <laughs> the rank, the actual true, real, for honest to goodness scores right now are sure. Andrew in last place with 40 points. Asterisk. <laughs> Eric yeah. in the middle with 46 points. Asterisk. And I, Chris Cabin, piece of shit of extraordinaire with 54 <laughs> big piece of shit points. Because that was all yeah, your idea, accurate. and I could smell it. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, so you know what? I mean, he seems, he seems like Chris. Now I'm going to jump ship and go to your side. It seems like this Chris guy took over your game. <laughs> Maybe you can help some other people out now. That game seems more fun. No, fuck you two. Uh, <laughs> delay that this. It was certainly look- easier. I'll say that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, no one has the fucking passion for it. Yeah, I I'm slave not- over these questions. <laughs> I'm not spending three hours of my company time doing this. No. <laughs> What I think my, my favorite time? thing of the the preview game, just really quickly, was when Eric's clue to Chris was a bunch of clerks working at a store. <laughs> <laughs> Which I literally looked around the studio and saw, uh, you know, a Kevin Smith thing, and that's how it came. So I was doing the whole like, uh, you know, oh, the you, Kaiser usual Soze. suspects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. So, um, but yeah, so yeah. this is going to be the second, the penultimate VHS trailer game for the nice. for se- season twelve. The mm-hmm. re- legends. <laughs> no, what, Eric, are you watching Master Chef these I, days? Yes, I actually am. And it's funny because they, they just act like that season of legends never happened. Oh yeah, no! Cause, cause I guess some legends do die. Now it's like, yo, everyone's coming back. Who's going to win this one? <laughs> they oh. went from the season of legends to the season of losers. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Did Ryan Johnson direct Legends? Is that why they're just <laughs> let's let's just wipe We're it just off? We're going to forget map. about it entirely. Yeah. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Round one. Game Master's Clue. A live action adaptation of a cartoon led by a big hunk who has already done who had already done a live action cartoon. This time he's an inept lawman. One more time. A live action adaptation of a cartoon led by a big hunk who had already done a live action cartoon. This time he's an inept lawman, Chris Cabin. That's a uh, Dudley Do right. That is Dudley Do Right. Wow. Five big right. points. Shit. I was going to guess ants. But that's, <laughs> that's not live action. That's what was no, holding me no. up. Woody Allen is a lawman. A hell of a, hell of a, <laughs> hell of a picture yeah. there. <laughs> Hold it right there. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm a school crossing guard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, slow it down. <laughs> Ew. You Ew, always everybody. have the green light with me, man. I would. I really forgot Dudley Do Right. Yes. Man, I forgot yeah. that even existed. And if I if if I did remember it, I thought I would have thought it was like ninety four. I, I if you hadn't said the Lawman, I would have definitely guessed Tarzan uh, or yeah. something. Oh, like I would yeah. I would have mixed jungle, it up. Yeah. Done. Yes, but yeah, exactly. yeah. Or George's Jungle. That's what. It, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. the fuck was that obsession though? Because there was that movie, and then we had the fucking Rocky and Bullwinkle movie. Yeah. Well, uh, which of those was successful? That I mean, I guess George of the Jungle made money. Was that how that worked? That seems like it did make money. Yeah. yeah. But okay. That was like yeah. I guess that was what ninety seven or something. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. It was two years earlier. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Round two. There's four of these fuckers. These were all on the tape, by the way. Sorry, these were all on the tape. These were, uh, yes, uh, uh, at least from the YouTube uh, clip that I pulled them from. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And Chris, you enjoy that YouTube link as well? (laughs) Chris Chris subscribes to the channel. (laughs) Oh, is it all on one channel? Good. (laughs) Game Master's Clue. Shut up. (laughs) A direct video sequel of a buddy cop comedy released a decade after the original with a title that would become very unfortunate two years later. Oh, no. A direct-to-video sequel of a buddy comedy released a decade after the original with a title that would become very unfortunate. Unfortunate. So the title is something like World Trade Center Still Standing. <laughs> yep. Very unfortunate two years later. Sure. Do the math. 99 two year, Wait, plus so two years. Direct to DVD. Direct to video. Video sequel of a buddy cop comedy. Buddy cop comedy. Released a decade after the original with a title that would become very unfortunate two years later. We're going to move on to the next Bit of uh, trivia here, no, yeah, and please. that's gonna help because I, I I didn't do IMDb trivia because it was like dog shit because this movie's so obscure. Steve trivia released <laughs> as episode eighty three of we the We Hate Movies podcast. Ooh. Previous episode, uh, uh, Andrew Jupin. Ah, uh, now I got you where I want you. VHS trailer game. <laughs> oh, this, this is, is indeed this is great. K nine one one. Yes, it is K nine eleven. Yes. Everybody, K nine eleven. Nice. So the World Trade Center was right. It was. Yeah, you, you were very close. <laughs> you were scratching at the door like a mm-hmm. dog. Like a dog. <laughs> scratching at the door. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, round three. <clears throat> Oof. 
Any more? Uh, uh, the only thing I remember about that uh, K nine eleven episode is the a lot of red rocket conversation. Yeah, big dick. Oh, Lots yeah. of dog. Oh dick. yeah, totally. That's the one where there's like a fucking mass shooting in a park, right? <laughs> Probably <laughs> with like a guy. No, he's no. I'm serious. He's wearing like insane body armor. And oh shit. right, yes. Is yes. that that one? Because uh, I think we were maybe. ripping off Lethal Weapon four or you know whatever the Lethal Weapon right. body armor one. That's like I could do that too. Yeah, that's four. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Game Master's Clue. Two comedy heavyweights teamed up for the first time in a Hollywood satire that involved a geeky body double. <laughs> Chris Cabin. That is Bowfinger. Wow, Bowfinger. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. God damn it. The fucking Bowfinger. best movie. It's so good. <laughs> I, I, it's been forever. I kind of wanted to rewatch it, just like going through the stuff this morning. It holds up so so really? well. We should wow. do a WLM on at some point. It's so goddamn I good remember, that movie. Like, I I saw that in the theater, and that was the last time I saw it. I remember not being or thrilled with it. Maybe just non plus, but I guess I have to go back and watch my bow what? finger. It's one of those beautiful things where you're like, oh my god, Robert Downey Jr. in a supporting role, he and he could just knock it out nice and quick, yeah. like and, uh, and great Terrence Stamp. Oh, yeah. God, I remember yes. nothing about that movie. I think yes. I've seen Bowfinger he, one He's doing time. like a fake Scientology thing yep. in that movie. It's so yep. good. God damn, I love that movie. Okay, here we go. Last one. Then we can talk about the pie fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Game Master's Clue. Starting to lose a, my erection. Very. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. A very late 90s adaptation of a classic horror novel. After watching this one, you might want to steer clear of the fireplace. <laughs> Uh, Eric Ziska. Uh, the Haunting? That is previous episode, oh. The Haunting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Andrew was right after Eric with oh, that. Oh, yeah. right. That was... That wow. huge... Remember that fucking huge walk-in fireplace that yes. that movie has? Yes. yes. It's just... You could, bur you could burn whole villages in that fireplace. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got it. Uh, okay, so updated scores. Andrew's got 44. Eric has got 51, and Chris has got 59. There's going to be some double points opportunities next time around. Chris Cabot Ooh. is not running away with this because I'm really going to do my best that we don't have to watch <laughs> Nothing But Trouble, but it sounds like we're going to. Oh, my it Lord. It sure I does about sound that. like it. Yeah, that's... Hell yeah. Are we still and, doing another cam and we're going to do another cameo. The, the winner gets that, but if Chris gets a double victory because he won last time, he gets to do choose Nothing But Trouble. So that's oh, hell yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's going to be exciting, folks. <laughs> so scrap really the pornography exciting. I'm very f f familiar sure. with. I, yes. But here's the thing. Did you ever speak to the scrambled pornography? Nope. No, <laughs> no, I never, no, I never nope, thought nope. I was dirty talking the well, lady on the, Chris, you know. Well, what if it's, let's say you're in a poltergeist situation. Right? Sure. Like, there's porno that wants to touch you back through the television. This <laughs> should happen. I, uh, if, if the Videodrome hand had come out <laughs> through the TV and started stroking me, I'd be all for oh, talking. Oh, no, child. This little boy's getting jerked off by his TV. <laughs> He's only 17 and a half years old. Oh, no, child. You got some inappropriate horny ghosts in your TV. <laughs> I believe that's Deborah Harry in there. <laughs> Oh, please, TV. <laughs> that would be fine. It's, yeah, uh, the talking back is a very, I've never talked back to pornography, period. You know, no. it's just sort of mm. like, like, what I mean, is the point? Who is it for? <laughs> well, you know, not not talking back, but I could see yelling and obviously <laughs> grunts. <laughs> grunts, sure, sure. sure. possibly. Moans, like you're, you're, I you're get that. Into, you know, Chris, when you get into your really heavy session and you start yeah. going, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, with the heart you just rate lose starts yourself. going up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chris would black out. You'd lose all <laughs> sense of time and place. I well, had, that's because there was a belt around his neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah and true. then and Eric would have to come in and slap me awake, put the salts <laughs> yeah. under my nose. I would have oh, yeah. to come in and uh -huh. spray, and then it'll See, wake you up. Some people, some people suffer from sleep paralysis, but Chris Cabin suffers from jerk paralysis, where he will just go into a fucking fugue state, dude, and good luck getting <laughs> that's him right. out. Look, Remember, sometimes Chris, when we were living together and you were doing one of your big sessions, and then you, you just... <laughs> Yes. You like came to and you were standing in the bank. Oh, I remember. Because <laughs> the Flubber DVD came on again before uh, I left. Yeah, you were like before. Rib torn, just like showing up places with your dementia. Yeah. <laughs> Thought this was a bathroom. Sorry, I'm cum drunk. Yeah, I mean, Rip Torn really is my inspiration whenever I am grunting at the pornography. Because <laughs> he has a good, a good timber for it. I clicked on Brazzers, and all of a sudden, here I am at the bag, jacking <laughs> off. <Yeah. laughs> Again. Uh, I was trying to pick up a pound note. 
Look, I, <laughs> very, oh, look, I we're see. losing a lot of legends, so I have to replace Rip Torn in the, <laughs> the few states. Uh, uh, so his mom catches him jerking off, and well, yeah, and I mean it's a comedy, and I understand that there's going to be comedic misunderstandings, and people are going to do sil- silly things for the sake of uh, making the bit happen. But sure. a like you gotta wait for everyone to go to sleep. You really gotta be like going around. Like depending on where your parents' bedroom is, you just gotta be look at that light go out, even from the crack under the door, and then maybe you're like, maybe I'll put on some quiet pornography and yeah. not talk well, about it. Also, just yeah. he's sitting on the edge of the bed, like just I don't know, man. Use those blankets. That's why they're there. Blankets. You got to have your last chattel button ready to go. Oh yeah, you ready to go. Go to flip back to the Weather Channel or ESPN immediately. But look at this. We 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 are seasoned pros. We've had a whole (laughs) life of developing these killer instincts. Yeah. The craziest thing in this movie, though, is there's so many times where there's like just middle of the day shenanigans like that. Because in this cold open. It's clearly just the afternoon. When he does the whole thing with Shannon Elizabeth, that's just the afternoon. Yes. When exactly. Thomasy e. and Nicholas is fucking going down on Tara, what's her face? Tariq. That's just the middle of the afternoon. The fucking right. parents are downstairs. Like, does no one sneak out at night in this movie? I don't understand this. And have you ever heard of jerk it off in the shower, aka the perfect crime? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like nothing. <laughs> There's Every, a lock yeah, on, it's just you and the Lord in there, man. <laughs> There's a lock on that door that everybody respects. Exactly. You know, the, your room, right. the lock might not be respected. They might go and get a key. But mm-hmm. the bathroom door, they're not going to, they don't want to see whatever's That's going true, on in there. That's true, because you could just say, like, hey, Ma, Dad, I got ass problems in here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see this shit, please. Yep. No, I'm literally. taking a shit. I'm taking mm-hmm. a shit. Mm-hmm. Really Good stinky. God. But, but like yeah. I love how she starts yelling about illegal channels. I love yes. that. Like it's what would that even be? Snuff films? Like what? <laughs> yes. And who's broadcasting this? I guess it's a video drum signal. Well, if <laughs> it was a thing where they had like the black box and he's stealing cable, then sure, that's an illegal channel. But it's scram it's scrambled pornography, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Which I, for folks at home, yeah, before the internet. That's what a lot of us had to go on. It was between the late 90s. It was either the Playboy Channel or R.I.P.D. Spice TV. R.I.P.D. Spice. I'll tell you, man, you know, a lot of great people lost their jobs when that network folded. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) People? (laughs) Yeah, why not? I don't know. Season professionals. Mm -hmm. Real legends of our adolescence. (laughs) But where where are we to go now? I'm sorry. (laughs) The you're dream gonna have, is dead. I'm sorry. You're going to have to pack up and go to the internet. <laughs> but we don't know how to get there. It's just like a caravan of people yes. starve in the desert because they couldn't figure Make, out how to get into the internet porn business. Making pornography in a camp and then like mm-hmm. playing the harmonica afterwards. Yep. <laughs> it's like Nightmare Alley. Everyone's just yeah. eating breakfast together. It's the Spike TV players. Well, we might as well go do a three-way again, mother. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I believe I believe the three-way girls are halfway to Abilene by now. <laughs> Every time there's a cum shot, I'll be there. Every time that someone is trying to piss on somebody else for pleasure, I'll be there. Anytime that there is a new inmate in a female prison, oh, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> now, son, can you take a load right in the face? <laughs> Mister, I was born for it. Uh, this is delightful. <laughs> I love the fucking the dude porn star in the tape when the mom is standing there. You just hear, oh, well, then so Eugene Levy walks in and he's like trying to make excuses for the kid, and then he's like, oh, it's just some you know show or whatever, and you hear the guy go, oh, spank my hairy ass. And there's a great. <laughs> Eugene Levy reacts so perfectly here is the second the guy is done saying that he just does a quick what? Yeah. <laughs> M- M- I, I MVP right here. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mr. Eugene I mean, Levy. Honestly, this scene, I was I was laughing a bit at this scene and throughout the movie a little bit, but I think Eugene Levy is definitely the MVP. Eugene yes. Levy and Natasha Leone are the two that really yes. Uh, yes. Natasha stuck Leone out. playing a high school girl who has like the soul of a 45 year old woman <laughs> yes. in her body. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Phenomenal. She's like the old pro giving all these kids advice, but she's also just their age. Maybe there's like a freaky Friday happening with her on the <laughs> periphery. Yes. A with Jim's mom. Movie. Yeah. So uh, one thing about this scene is that 
once my mother enters the room, mm-hmm. I know call, where you're going. called on a count of rain. Where uh, <laughs> you know this isn't happening tonight. Maybe yep. tomorrow morning we'll try again. But this is just not happening. Wait, I'm wait, sorry. Your mother coming in and kissing you is yes. you're saying that would not that, increase your boner. I, that, I, I'm not sure if I would be able to get it up again for a week. I think we're <laughs> looking at a week of you're no right, jerking because she is kissing him while he has a full erection. Horrible. Well, and he's got the sock going. The yeah. sock. I've never, sock. The sock to me it. was always an afterthought. The sock might be there for, you know, to yeah. get rid of some stuff, but like I'm, I'm not sure. using the but, sock but the as so- a. The, 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 no, I mean, I know. Prison. Time, time <laughs> hunter tradition, people jizzing in socks. I never got it because you're just coming up the laundry now. You know, exactly. now, you're, now you're just full cum. Well, but also to me, that's like you're pre planning way too much. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you, this is all too much process. You know, you, you deal with it afterwards. But again, yes, just napkins and fucking uh, paper towels. Fucking <laughs> but I've never anything. Understood. Humping the sock. Like, what does that do for the fantasy? What are you fucking a Muppet? Like, what, yeah. what, what are you imagining? <laughs> well, yeah. the beach into... from fucking Skeeter. He's into he's into <laughs> cartoons. He wants to fuck uh, Ariel uh, the mermaid. Yes, that's a uh, weird yes. drop line. That, a little you know weird why? drop line. That is in here because now this is a precursor. Kids today, if you're younger than us listening to this right now, which you probably are, this is what you would, you know, anime. That's what you jerked off to and still do constantly. You <laughs> sure. beat it raw to it. And sure. this is the, you know, the start. 99 Adult Swim. We start getting a lot more of that in America. And the cartoons get hornier and hornier. But for the time being, he, this, this young man had to jerk off to the, the Little Mermaid. Well, this is also the age of the internet springing. Uh, uh, oh, uh, here's Ariel sucking the seagull's dick. Oh yeah, of yeah, totally. shit like this and like oh, that. You gotta, just... oh, Chris, you got a link for that? Or... I do, hold on, <laughs> I'm dropping it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to get to because uh, I said uh, Harry Arm, Steve Sadek. It, it's Eugene. And Eugene Levy's always been an incredibly hairy man. Again, M- MVP of this movie. But it's because he's being nerdy dad. He's got the Sipowitz shirt throughout this whole movie, and you yeah. can see everything. Wait, I thought you said hairy and arm Steven say that because you grew hair on your palms from jacking uh, it too hairy much. Po- no, see, that's why I wanted to clarify. It's about yes. Eugene Levy's incredibly hairy body. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want th- uh, the audience at home thinking that you jerk off too much, Steve. <laughs> that, yeah. would, that would be that would change everyone's I, opinion of me. I, I'm gonna say har- he- uh, heavy uh, arm uh, arm hair alpha mm-hmm. move. I think that's oh, yeah. I th- that's a uh, a masculine thing. Oh yeah, right? well, well, it's also coming down to the knuckles. You know, yeah. I mean, eventually you start looking like like you're in the grocery store and someone's like, "Mr. Levinson, uh, are you turning into a werewolf?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, get away from me. I the thing about it, the the last thing about the sock. Uh, so like when the mom comes in, he puts a pillow over himself, sure. right? And right. So the, yeah. The black outline of the scene is she pulls the pillow and they see his fucking besocked cock, right? Yep. Yeah. It's stunning. And Chris, I think you were sort of starting to allude to this, but like, it's stunning that after all these shenanigans have gone down, this kid is still hard. Still pretty yeah, hard. No thanks. Like, no he's thanks. still got an erection. For, and I was like, oh my God. No, no, no. Uh, that would be, it would be inside me. It would yeah. be done. Like <laughs> a fucking up. frightened turtle, dude. Yep. He's, Clothes he's for business. Young, growing boy, you know? He's probably hard all of the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I mean, the therapist he'll be talking to in about uh, 10 years will have a lot to say about all of this. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we sort of, we meet this rather large cast of characters here. Jim, of course, Jason Biggs. Oz, played by Chris Klein, he- Heather, uh, Mina Suvari, Kevin, Thomasy and Nicholas, right? Uh, Vicky, that's uh, Tara, what's her name? Tara Reed. Tara Reed. Tara Reed, there we go. I kept wanting to say Tara Lipinski, and I'm like, <laughs> she was an ice skater, not the same person. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, Finch, a.k.a. Shitbreak, Eddie K. Thomas, and fucking Steve Stifler himself, Sean William Scott. This character, I hate to admit it, he was still making me laugh a little bit. Yeah. Sean William Scott, I think, is very funny. Like, yeah, just that's just my genuine feeling. Is I, I don't know this character isn't great, but uh, he's very funny. I think. Well, quick, quick around the horn because we didn't do it earlier because I had to do my stupid uh, board game. Uh, what did we, <laughs> what was everybody's experience with this movie? Like, what did you live it? Did you love it? Was was your you know we're all around around the same right age for a 1999 boy centric boob comedy? I'm just curious where everybody was was with this guy. 
Uh, it was an in theaters for me. It was a sneak in situation. Or was it a sneak in situation? Uh, maybe. Yeah, you were probably too young remember. to get in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, I remember being all about it. I bought the uh, the fucking DVD when it came out. I've seen this movie a lot, and it, again, it was another. This is happening a lot with movies that were covering around like ninety nine into like oh five or something. Like, I saw it like a thousand times on DVD when I had it, and I couldn't until this morning i couldn't have told you the last time I've, I've seen this movie although i will say i saw all four of the main franchise movies in theaters i have enough. as well i have done that <laughs> wait I, I didn't even remember i don't think i ever saw american reunion i think no that I, I did not see that yeah. was a in in one ear out the other movie for me i couldn't tell you what the fuck they're doing other than having a high school reunion right yeah I, I i don't remember that either i saw this my dad brought my friend richie my friend eric and me into this with a six not me pack, with it not not just Siska. want people to know no different different eric uh although his last name also started with an s um but my dad brought in a, a sixer of backs Wow! Um, yeah, and, and cause really. Because he for himself very, for you guys. Oh, for for <laughs> himself because he very obviously did not want to see this movie. Uh, and he, he drove took, like, home afterwards. <laughs> he did finish the Sixer. Uh, he got through like two. Uh, so I trust him on two. But yeah, I remember. <laughs> I I remember laughing my ass off in the theaters. Oh, yeah. I remember my dad spitting up the beer at one point. Uh, oh, so he of, got into it, huh? Uh, yeah, at one point he thought that the he he really thought the pie fucking was very funny. Uh, <laughs> he thought, well, was, he's got a fucking heartbeat. Of course I, he did. I, I don't know if he had seen the trailer ever, so I really think it did like take him by surprise. That's uh, wonderful. But yeah, I I have I and I also bought this on DVD and watched it a couple. The thing about DVD is you just I I didn't do this with videotapes because I thought you would break the tape. But like DVDs really is when I started just throwing on movies to have in the background. Mm. Like oh, I would yeah. I, I would channel surf to find movies before that. But like once I had DVDs, I thought like, oh, these things are never going to fucking wear out. So I just <laughs> keep on doing <laughs> DVD. will never yeah. die. Yeah. So for me, I, I saw this in the theater and um, I definitely saw it a few times on cable. I never owned it. I did see I think I saw two and wedding in the theater. But Ooh. uh then I, you know, I haven't thought or seen uh, hide nor hair of Jim and his dick till today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never was into this movie. It just was always, it was I, it was always my corner I was on for whatever reason. I didn't see it in theaters, so maybe be, a theater audience would have probably helped me get into it. You probably. were jealous more of, of everyone. Hang- <laughs> I was. I was so jealous of everyone. But yeah, like all these, I don't know, just these squeak. I always, I always found the cast especially the four lead boys, really disagreeable to me. And it never worked for me for that reason. And I, I think you're and, right. And there's, <laughs> yeah, it, like, there's a funny stuff. I remember laughing at certain, certain some of the stuff, but I was never like super into this. And especially as the sequels and Kevin and his tonight's going to last forever, guys. This is going to be it, dudes. We're yeah. never going to have it this good, gentlemen. Over and oh. over that nonsense <laughs> that he pulls. I was like, dude, I'm fucking out. I'm fucking out. <laughs> it's stunning that anyone is friends with Kevin. <laughs> Thank yeah. Kevin. Fucking sucks, dude. And I, it's kind of funny time. because I always found all of the girl characters way more interesting than the guy characters, yes. except for Finch. Yes. Finch was my guy because that guy humiliated uh, due to like <laughs> shit reasons, uh, was yep. into pretentious coffee, uh, you know, wanted the, the he was the quote unquote sophisticated kid in the sense that he had, you know, he was into booze and they like beer, like that sort of shit. And I was like, all right, you're like the fucking nerd outlier guy, yep. Finch. I'm all right with you. Yeah, but I, fucking I, Jason Biggs. I'll tell you right now the thing about Jason Biggs. Uh-oh. I watched this on Peacock. I never noticed this before with this movie, and it doesn't happen with any of the other actors. So, like, you know, the production was on top of it, mostly. The makeup department is what I'm getting at here. He is fucking sweating through this yes. whole movie. Yeah, he's yeah. Disgusting. Like, not when he's not supposed to be. Like, when they're casually at the little hot dog joint that they hang out at in the movie, he's just pouring buckets like he's getting interrogated. I, I kind of like that as a touch. I think that's kind of like... <laughs> it's the an one, accidental touch. Well, I mean, he's nervous I mean, all the time, so. right? I mean, I don't know why they would just be like, yeah, uh, sweat in every scene, unless it was like a pointed choice. Like, he is sweaty the whole movie, and it gives that like... 
really gr- like that's like the one R crumb esque like mm, actual perversion yeah. like thing about it. Like right. I'm like, oh, he's gross. Like he's actually kind of gross. Because <laughs> if you if your balls aren't properly drained, you start sweating <laughs> it out. Yes, so exactly. it's just this little thin sweat mixed with cum what? coming through your pores if you do not get those balls drained. It's it, it's interesting you bring that up, Eric, because this had to this this and the second one both are linked directly with Blink One Eighty Two albums. Mm. Yes, this this one has Mutt from Enema of the State, and yep. the Enema of the State came out a month before this. I think like literally just tie like right there. They are come out at the same time. Both hits. America Pie Two comes out a little bit before Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. Uh, yes, and there are. I think the reason people always ask why. There had to be so many of these stupid movies. I think you have to make an American Pie for every Blink-182 record. <laughs> I think it is a rule. I think it's somewhere out there that they have to be linked forever. There are nine American Pie movies, right. and there are nine Blink-182 wow. records. Wow. Oh, wow. records. Did you do? Did you go down the rabbit hole? Is there I, one I, in every single one? Is there some secret code? I, I will say this. Of the main cat, ignore the presents gang. I, I will. <laughs> Uh, the four main ones all come out within a year of a Blink-182 record. Oh, that's fucking weird. Because, yeah, because Wedding was 2012 and their yep. movie, their record uh, Neighborhoods came out in 2011. So, yeah, yep. that is fucking weird. You got a real Pepe Civil thing going on here, yeah, dude. I, 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 that, <laughs> it, 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 they come back for 2019. What happens in 2020? The fucking thing comes back again. That's right. That's <laughs> Girls like the, rule. Yes, you're totally right, oh dude. Holy Lord. shit. It has to oh, happen. Wow. It has to it's happen. It's all adding up. Galactus <laughs> is collecting this. He's just fucking second, it all uh, The second movie over the Universal logo is their song Roller Coaster. The thing that's fucking hilarious, though, speaking of Blink-22, I'll just throw it out now. Like, they are, they are in this movie in that fucking just disastrous web stream scene mm-hmm. where that Ooh. dude, Jim, I, I would never go back to that high school, but we'll get there. But so Blink-22 is part of that. They're watching them. And it is clearly... Uh, Mark Hoppus, Tom DeLonge, and Travis Barker. When you get to the cast credit list at the end of the movie, they credit not Travis Barker, but the old drummer, Scott Rayner, who had left the band by that point. How did he fuck that up? Dude, and it's... he. Travis Barker got fucked twice by these credits because then at the end of it, when they credit... Uh, there's the song credit for Mutt that plays uh, in this movie... They fucking, it is Travis Barker, but they spelled his last name wrong. <laughs> yeah. Just did that dude dirty. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, Scott Rayner in the credits under, they're credited as Garage Band, which is funny. But yeah, no yeah. Travis Barker acting credit. Kind of funny. Terrible. So they're, you know, we're, we're, we're in school and, you know, we meet everybody. Chris Klein is a quote unquote lovable oaf, I guess, is what was well, going on with him. They, they really <laughs> do him a little, I mean, they give him the worst, like the intros are like, yeah, man, uh, legal channels. Uh, all women's channels should be legal channels. You know, there's this uh, Reddit page I want to show you, Jim, <laughs> uh, after we're done here. It's a, it's a new kind of oh, thing. Cause, yeah, his joke is like, yeah, like the Lifetime Network for menstruation or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, you got to fucking lock those girls up, man. I ain't watching the fucking wrong babysitter. I'm going to go play lacrosse. You I know what? The- you should have kept on jerking, man. You should have just kept on jerking <laughs> while your mother was there. You start yelling at the <laughs> pornography. That's actually a power move, right? You it just is, make yeah. total eye contact and mm-hmm. then just get get to town on yourself. <laughs> I guess yeah, I'm had- jerking off. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. I guess the idea is like, oh, when he had- turns sensitive at the end, it'll be really st- even more interesting. Oh, yeah. But it's not. It's a big script arc, is what that <laughs> it's is. It's not. I don't know, man. I just I've never liked Chris Klein's work. I'll be completely honest with you, folks. He seems like, kind I mean, of like he's got. No, I'm not trying to. This is not like <clears throat> not trying to be too disparaging, but like a like a simple energy, like a man child energy. Yes. And Which, I feel like that carries over into his other films too. Like, election yes, does election. No, he's knows what he's that. to do with that because he's he plays a big dumb oaf and like they use that like he's a right. sweet dumb oaf and like you know he's really nice to his sister and like his sister hates his guts and like and you actually feel for him in that movie and this one not so much no Fuck. well that's what's like kind of unfortunate about this movie is like really amp up that these guys are scumbags like yes. they're little they're little high school perverts and like that's the thing like don't Try to make them charming. Like high school boys are not charming. High school yes. boys are scumbags. Yeah. They're horny scumbags. Yeah. So, Irredeemable like, trash. <laughs> Lean but that's, into that shit. 
That's well, the problem is that they have to be the, the way that they write them. They have to be kind of like adults too. Yes. Like that, right. that's the only way you get like a moral out of it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. But that's less funny. <laughs> yeah. But that's it's less, less they're, funny they're doing the coming of age thing. And I guess of coming of age. I guess. Well, <laughs> hey, but, yeah. there he is. Mm. <laughs> um, but <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising. And may, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. You'd think that Oz's character arc of like learning, like, Hey, sex competition with my friends is stupid. I'm falling in love with this girl. It seems like the protagonist's story arc, but it's yeah. not. Yep, You're yeah. right, but but because we focus on Jim because Jim is funnier and Jim has a funny dad and like that makes more sense. But yeah, like you're right because Oz has this like very like sweet story, but it's like I don't know, I don't care. And then also yeah, Kevin, yeah. you would also kind of think would be the lead because he's got the girlfriend and yeah. he wants to have sex with her and like we follow his girlfriend. She has scenes without anybody else. You know what I That's mean? Right. Like, yeah. So it's, that that would also make him sort of lead. But again, we go back to like, that Jason Biggs kid had it back in the day. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. very much an ensemble. But at the same time, yeah, we're very focused on Jim. But I think now I'm realizing why is to have the kids in the audience identify with someone. You're a fucking piece of shit loser. <laughs> You're going to fucking fuck shit in your kitchen. Absolutely. I, one thing watching this movie, uh, two, one, because like I, I never liked any of the boys. And I was like sort of in the, the MILF guys scene. I was like, why aren't they part of the crew? Like they're funny enough. Like you know what I mean? Like why not just <laughs> why aren't we hanging out with the MILF guys? Because they're they're just as likable as these four, if not more. Because you got and, John Cho you know, in, in the in the action. Yeah, sure. John Cho, you know, he's just kind of kissing that picture of Stifler's yes. mom. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. not too bad. I mean, the no. funny thing is, I was actually thinking about it because they're credited as MILF guys, and one is fucking john cho yes what i didn't look it up but what do you think happened to the other milf guy i mean he walked around, he's at comic-con as other milf guy i I'm think you're right <laughs> i think he's, he's yelling it's like you're getting a little uh a little like tiktok of him yelling milf with you yeah. but then you gotta you got you gotta pay him fifty dollars uh, don't like go a, to his don't go to his TikTok channel, by the way. It's 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 a dark place. <laughs> you, you don't want to see what's going on this there is, now. This is interesting. I, I just pulled up his IMDb. He he's basically done nothing besides these movies, but they bring him back for every one of them. Oh and yeah. Him and other, John Cho, I think, both keep coming. He eventually back. gets the name Justin in American Pie 2 and American Wedding. And then by the time American Reunion comes around, they forgot his name was Justin. He's back to MILF guy number one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, John Cho must have been devastated because that makes you MILF guy number two, sadly. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. True. Steven Tobolowski oh. would tell you all about the problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I, uh, about the dudes, and I, I was like, whose clothes are supposed to be good? Like, is anyone supposed to be a good flashy no. dresser? Because they were making this movie in 1998, dude, and everyone looked uh, like shit. Every, all everyone of these did. shirts are repulsive. They're all repulsive, but Chris Klein is like so like jacked and like yeah. actually looks like an Adonis that anything kind of works. Yeah, for him. Sure. He fits That's in true. his costume like the most. Yes. Jason Biggs, I think, looks the absolute worst. Yes. And like they have Eddie K. Thomas, they kind of dress him a little older because that part of like what goes along with the Finch character yeah. like a yeah. little bit. Like he's he's dressed like he could be a protagonist in singles or something. Yes. Grand I, I, the jacket was working <laughs> for me. I I, I could I could Hell buy yeah. that jacket, you know? Yeah. I mean, Thomas Ian Nick, I, I the the look is I I have to say it greasy. <laughs> yep. Every time every time I look at him, I'm like greasy. This guy what, like is physically sleaze. or like a sleaze ball. Sleaze ball. Sleaze oh, ball. Yeah. Like it's all yep. very sleazy. They uh they wanted speaking of because he Thomas Ian Nichols, of course, rookie of the year at a King and King Arthur's court. And they were wanted, most recently seen uh bulk buying a book to get it on the New York Times bestseller list. Oh no, really? did he do that for Tell him? Me. Because he was, I don't remember the details. This was several years ago. He was trying to adapt some book or was doing that or something like that. And he got caught like mass buying the book so that it would go up so he could say like New York Times bestseller or whatever. Nice. And I, I don't know what happened to it after that, but it was just like a real like, ah, oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's true. He belongs in jail. <laughs> that's a fraud perpetrated on the American people. Yeah. For Jim. <laughs> They wanted JTT, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, but he passed. Wow. Oh, dude, he's kicking his own oh, ass of course. every day. Of that would have been, I mean, that's the that would have been the move to shake off I, his sitcom, yep, Aw yep. Shucks Kid shit. Would not have worked. 
No. Absolutely no. under no circumstances Why? with that. Because now works. every girl's going to the movie as well. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess. The, Good point there. At by that the way, point, yeah. is he still is he still that hot in ninety nine? I don't know. But I well, don't that think fucking so. tool that tool time was still on the sure, air. At least sure, in but like, Wasn't I it? mean, we're all we're already we're we're well into DiCaprio era now. We're like things have stopped can, for wait, JTT. Wait, 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 wait. I think you could you in ninety nine. You could be horny for more than one. Sure, <laughs> I understand that, but you're also you're t- you're changing the entire like dynamic of the like. The, uh, what's funny about uh, the way like he plays Jim in the movie is that he is gross and that he is kind yes. of like inept and like you would never have JTT like that ever because he's got like be you cool. just wouldn't yeah, be like oh man yeah. I'm getting I'm getting the last word on everybody <laughs> yeah you have yeah. to like it's it's just not happening like he like, would have totally to be the Oz like, little true. goblin Pinocchio <laughs> oh yeah he would ha- he would have to be the Oz character but then at the same time he's not athletically built to be a lacrosse player and, and no. he's not as high as chris klein i'm sorry it's just no, no, not real simple. but you are right though chris he is too attractive to play jim i mean that's why like jason biggs it's kind of the pro- like i'm not saying the dude's ugly or anything but he's just like he's a guy yeah, yeah he's just your very normal looking joe whatever yeah, who not, is indeed not sweating Oof. in every scene Oof, that face <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever. I mean, there's the first big, like, Stifler has a house party. There's two. The movie's sort of bookended by big Stifler parties is the idea. And the, the, so this is the first one. Just, I guess, a casual weekend party is the idea. Yeah. Do they want Stifler as well? I'm always like, is he their friend or is he not their friend? I guess they just kind of use him because he does have, like, money, it seems. Well, that's yeah. the joke they kind of make at the end of the movie. Was, yeah. They're like, oh, well, we got to go to the the lake party after prom. Like, why else do we stay friends with Stifler this whole time? Yes. Oh, right. To, secure the invite but then it's kind of like it's ridiculous because then there's just a huge party bus that takes what appears to be almost the entire school of this fucking house or whatever well yeah like he he's friends with the two uh he's better better friends with the two of the more unlikable of the four like chris klein yes and and, and thomas Ian nichols like uh, they they have the in with stifler and then I guess, yeah, Jim and, and Finch seem to just be like, yeah, you can make fun of us, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, everyone, need, you know, you get, you have your, your tertiary punching bag friends back in high school. <laughs> A person oh, yeah. who can only been communicate. There. I've been there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Um, but they, they scheme before the party because uh, they meet at, like, their little hot dog hut hangout place, and they're talking about getting laid and yada yada and it's like let's make a pact we are going to lose our virginity ladies and gentlemen uh before prom night no yes. that's a- that's after the party because that's after oh, sherman right. walks away with the boner and like all oh that you're you're totally right you're totally right yeah, yeah. so they do have the huge party though um, yes this is the bit like the fucking come in the cup scene is in this uh yes. part of the movie yeah that was i remember when that happened in this movie and just sitting in the theater being like Oh my! They're showing, <laughs> they're showing what in this movie? That's that's cloudy. That's awfully cloudy. That drink. I, mm, I don't know. Well, they, 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 you know, they they tried to leap over something about Mary. You know, not come on an ear, mm-hmm. come in a cup now, my yeah. friends. Yep, that's right. But you Absolutely. don't. Absolutely, you don't even see the cum go in. I well, mean, I mean, come you on, couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> come on, nine <laughs> songs. Get the Michael Winterbottom to do this. And show actual. T- Man, the start of the party scene, there are two separate needle drops for this one. Bare naked ladies, one week. Look out below. That'll get oh, the party started. Man. <laughs> oh, wait. So one thing we do have to bring up is uh, before this, Kevin and Tara Reed have uh, had a discussion in a car where she is getting accepted to uh, college, I guess, at uh, Cornell. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Yeah, uh, one of them at least is going to Cornell. He, and he's going to U of, uh, U of M. Uh, and uh, she says, I love you, and he just can't do it. Oh, he just, and I'm like, oh boy. And I'm like, I look at the time, I was like, uh, as a kid, I was like, what are you fucking stupid? <laughs> like, I just remember very clearly in my head being like, what are you, what, what? <laughs> I'm a 16 year old me looking at Terry, like, what? I would say, I love you, and I will never love anyone else at 16 yes. <laughs> to get what, whatever this is going towards. But it's he's a little sleazy Thomasy and Nichols, and he's got a big heart, Chris. I guess I think it's heart. Nicholas, by the oh, way. Okay. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Don't yeah. want to be getting uh, no tweets from him. Sure. 
You said my name wrong by making fun of me for two hours. Yeah, go read a book or buy one. Now, is this, <laughs> is, is, is it him being like, I, I'm honest, I, you know, maybe I, I haven't gotten quite to love yet. Is, is that what this is? Or yes, is he like, let's see what other chicks wind up near me. Mm. I think what's, <laughs> I think what it is, I think it's the first one because what uh, I think Chris, maybe you mentioned this already, but like, they kind of have to write them like adults. And yes. that's that's a weird moment of that. Where You're right. Like an 18-year-old kid would just be like, yeah, okay, I love you too, high school girlfriend, whatever. Mm-hmm. But he's like, they write this whole, and he gives Tara Reed this kind of like flowery speech later. He's like, when I say it, I want the moment to be right. And this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. You look like this dude in 1999. Like, you are saying whatever it will take to fuck this girl. Come on. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, like, it makes more... Her her reasoning of, like, she t- talks to Natasha Leon at the party is, like, I want it to be special. I want it to be at a time when I want to do it, which is completely reasonable and something, like, you hear in, in high school for sure. Yes. As compared to, I can't say I love you. I don't know if it's real or not. Well, that's yes, the weird part. exactly. <laughs> Again, about the girl scenes, well, which I'll call the girl scenes because it's just her, it's Tara Reed and uh, Natasha Leone. Like, they play so much more real because, like, you know, that's true. What, what should we call it? She's, Tara Reed's really, really nervous about sex and Natasha Leone's very worldly and she's just, like, you know, it's not the fucking space launch, dude. Like, it's just going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, and she has some great oh, yeah. lines, but I mean, like, that her anxiety versus her sort of worldliness actually plays a lot better than, like, I don't know, what, what, what the, the dude's portion. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I think you're totally right. They do, you know, Tanisha Leone's character of Jessica is that worldly person that the boys don't have in their group. I, yes. It almost feels like they should be talking to the lunch lady or something. Like that. <laughs> Because this, oh, no. she knows so much. That's Eric, what I was saying earlier. Like, yeah. she has the soul of, like, a 45-year-old woman in her body. Eric, we're not going to get to that it quite yet. But what you're talking about is you want more scenes with Casey Affleck's character. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. Because his whole scene is just, like, the inheriting of the cunnilingus bible but like it would be interesting <laughs> if there was a little more there there maybe it's around a holiday and he has to come home definitely yeah. you should be definitely listening to more sex advice from casey affleck that seems <laughs> yeah, no. like a good road yeah. to be riding you also probably shouldn't illegally, you know, videotape an underage girl and broadcast it on the internet. I oh, dude, fucking Eugene great. Levy would go to jail at the end of this movie. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. dude. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Levinson. We noted that in your house, technically, sir, your name is on the lease. Uh, you were fucking producing child pornography in this house. <laughs> uh-huh. Wait, I'm going. What's happening, Jim? Jim, what? did you make a kitty porn dungeon, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I mean, what what lost me, the I think the first fucking time in this, I ever saw this movie is like, so Thomas Ian Nicholas, our hero, ladies and gentlemen, is dissatisfied by getting oral sex from Tara Reid. He is yeah. just fucking over it. He is yeah. tired of it. He's and I'm like, you know what, dude, fuck watch. all these kids. Who, who, yeah, he's like, uh, who could ever want a blowjob? What the oh, fuck? Get that out of here. I, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of these damn blowjobs. <laughs> can I just, can I move on as a 17 year old from blowjobs all well, the it's, time? It's fucking wild because there's that one exchange between Tara Reed and uh, Natasha Leone where Tara Reed's like, uh, like something, something like, oh, well, like he, he likes getting sucked off or whatever. And Natasha Leone's like, Oh, yeah, a guy likes getting a blowjob. Wow, fucking world news. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's uh, the, the other thing. She's asked her if, if she's ever had an orgasm. And she's like, I think there was one. And she stops. Like, no, you did. You know, what I mean? it's like, <laughs> you, you would know. It's a very funny scene. But yeah, I mean, this and that, like, that's the funny part is he gets caught. Like he's talking to Jim. Like, enough of this blowjob bullshit. I want to get laid. And she's like, yep. nice. And it's like. You know what? You're never talking to that kid again. Like you're no. th- you're fucking thirty one right. minutes away from having sucked this dude off, and he's like, "Blowjob suck." <laughs> yeah. I am anti blowjob. It's it's like the end of the year anyway. Just ghost this fucking kid <laughs> exactly. and go to yep. Cornell and give a blowjob to someone who would appreciate it. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I, uh, to quote De Niro from Copland, "You blew it." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
there is uh, man i love some of just the quick audio jokes in this movie and there's one right around here because we are speaking about this blowjob where like they're in a bedroom at the party getting ready to do it and uh you just hear like some dude out in the hallway like because they are talking about like the right moment yes. and blah 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 and you just hear this dude go dude my farts fucking stink oh, yeah. and then this, this other dude goes dude you gotta take a shit it's like you have no idea who those guys are you have no idea what they're doing at the party but it's just like the funniest fucking thing to kill a mood right before a blowjob those are my Love favorite it. characters <laughs> While this is going on, Oz has been talking about he's got a date with a college girl. Uh Man, oh, man. Suck me beautiful. (laughs) That is is whoever told him that that was going to work. Bad advice. Yes. Yes. And also, look at this. Someone over here wants a blowjob. Someone over here appreciates that. (laughs) I was actually because it's been forever since it. (laughs) It's begging for it like you should. Um, (laughs) Yeah. The. The. I, when I was watching that scene, because it's, it's like my co- college girl, we start, we find out that she's a, uh, she's studying feminist theory or something like that. I was like, oh, here we go. But uh. the scene's actually like, he does suck me beautiful. She laughs at him and just is like, you got to do better than that. Man. It's well, not they like call this me big. No- they call me Nova as in Casanova. <laughs> oh, man. It's just like brutal one after the other. It is nice because it's actually a constructive put down. She's just like, hey, man. You got to do better than that. You got to fucking be interested in her. You got to yeah. ask questions. You know, you got to participate in this. It's not just suck me beautiful. And then she's like, I'm going to drive you back to your little friends. And you yes. know what? I'm never going to date a high school guy again. <laughs> I, I, don't know how, very, I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. Yep. I'm very curious to find out how he even landed the first date. Yes. Like, well, what, I mean, what, he the, looks like Chris Klein. That's that's. I guess end. so. Yep. But she's in college. She's just hanging out at lacrosse games, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and I'm just working on her thesis. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, so he fucking Kevin comes in this cup and leaves it on the nightstand. And then like, here we go, man. Stifler barges in, kicks them out. And he's trying to like hook up with this girl. And man, oh, man, he just chugs this cum, realizes immediately what he did and throws up on this girl. Well done, sir. Does he <laughs> how? So how does he know it's cum? Because he he takes a huge sip of it and then he looks at it and then they have Sean William Scott do a like Double turns yeah. he turns back towards the door like oh fuck Kevin was just oh no yeah I guess that's <laughs> I, I just I always was just like did like did, is this a fetish for Nicholas this he's like I, I just like I love coming and cups <laughs> maybe I just no. full of cups I just love it I, it's a nice cool down after but a the hot move is, job got, I mean look I know you're at a high school party. You got to take it with you, man. And then, like, go, go <laughs> yeah. direct to the bathroom, right in the toilet. Sure. Well, you guys were poo-pooing socks a few minutes ago. <laughs> Guess what would come in handy for Kevin right here. But yeah. Yes, but then, but then you got, you're coming on Stifler's socks, which is another fetish. You That's know? True. You're, you're folding it up in your back pocket, and you're either taking it with you or throwing it out in the garbage. You go to the bathroom or something. Mm-hmm. Or, fuck, throw it out the bedroom window. Let the lawn take care of it. <laughs> Hey, you want to know another thing that totally dates this movie in a hilarious way? Is Please. When, uh, I mean, the whole movie is just itself completely dated in all of the most uncomfortable ways. But when Natasha Leone is at the, about the orgasm conversation and she asks Tara Reid if she's ever masturbated and she fucking, the euphemism she uses is, you never double clicked your mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, now, kids, I know you, you might be thinking they're talking about some type of rodent, but uh, <laughs> computers used to have these things called mouses <laughs> that would you could, you know, surf the web with. Mm-hmm. They're now the pad in front of your laptop. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Your, your mouse got flattened into a trackpad. <laughs> oh, you never pushed down on your trackpad, dude? Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Uh, I mean, so that's kind of the party that for the we most meet part. the MILF guys, the MILF, and yes. you know, the MILF was a big uh, cultural sensation. You know, it's a big still, thing. W- oh, this People is what are did still it, saying man. it. People are still saying. Oh yeah, it. they say it all the time. Oh yeah, it created a new porn Wait, uh, is this, category. Is, essentially, it, it, it can't be from this, right? Is no, that I, the I looked theory? it up. Apparently, like something, some website predated it a couple of years. Ah, damn it! 
but well, you know, right. it, some, it certainly some popularized it. Some screenwriter was masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a dreamer, Eric. I just wanted to believe in this script being a, a, the groundbreaker. <laughs> Thank God I mean, for John Cho's later career. Because, I mean, you know, you've got other MILF guy. That's the sliding doors moment. But, like... Yep. Somebody comes up to you like, hey, Milf guy. Like, Actually, I was Sulu on Star Trek. You know, I, <laughs> yep. I, I was <laughs> totally on, I was on a bunch of TV shows. I, I do really well. You know, I was also fucking Harold in the three <laughs> big Harold and Kumar comedies. Exactly. I was, Just don't I call was me. Gu- don't call me fucking Milf guy. OK, I was in Guantanamo Bay. OK, <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, that we but, also yeah. get uh, the Shermanator. Uh, oh, dude, here. The, the introduction to the Shermanator at the party is fucking hilarious because he's standing just like in the living room or whatever, and Stifler walks by him. Because, like, it's a little quick. Like, we're following Stifler through his party, and he's greeting people and sexually harassing women and everything. And he goes, uh, Sherman! What the fuck are you doing <laughs> <Yeah>. here? <laughs> it's a good it's a good line. I yeah, always wanted to greet someone that way, you know. But yeah, so Sherman is like telling Jim and Kevin, like, oh yeah, I'm getting laid tonight. Don't even worry about it. And then they see him right after the interaction with the MILF guys, like taking this girl into a bedroom and closing the door. And so the next morning, they all crash at this house and they wake up hungover and they're all like so depressed that the Shermanator is bringing this lady downstairs and they have like a nice little hug and she leaves and whatnot and thanks him for a great night and these four guys are just they're really furious about this development they're stunned and this is when you know Kevin because he's gonna make oh fuck Kevin's gonna make a speech and he's you know he gets Uh up and he's like guys it's too much already we can't take this lion down. We're going to work together like we're all working as a team, which kind of doesn't actually happen in the no, movie. You know what I mean? Like this idea that we're all going to work together. Like they do some stuff for Finch a little bit, but yeah. for the rest of it, they're just kind of like, I don't know, dude, you're doing your thing. I'm doing mine. Yeah, They yeah. all sort of, yeah. yeah, they all like independently go do their own thing. But it reminded me of that episode of Seinfeld where George is like helping Jerry date that girl. Yes, and yeah, he's yeah. like, Giving him like the change of clothes and like, oh, you know, I need what, what's the line? He's like, oh, I need like a bunch of flowers by tonight or something. And George is like, a little notice would have been nice. Like, that's what the movie should have been. Them all working together, right? Like yes. they say they yeah. do here, but it definitely doesn't happen. I, I, was, I just don't know how in this scene Oz doesn't go to Jim and be like, Jesus Christ, you watched Dead Poet Society again last night. <laughs> oh God. Okay, could you just get off the table and just yep. yeah? Could you just please? Because I'd be like, yeah, hey. Awesome, man. We were just about to put on some Street Fighter 2 Turbo, if you don't mind. Just Please. Please. fucking move. Uh, re- you're, you're really hung over here, man. And, uh, <laughs> you're just like standing on this chair yelling things at me. Blocking the TV, man. <laughs> Speechifying and blocking the TV. Two party fouls. By the way, uh, I was looking at Chris Owen, who plays Sherman's uh, IMDb, and I was like, was he in Major Pain? He is in Major Pain because... Yep. He is the poster. This kid, it, I just remember the ears. chat. It's a really funny looking face he's got, this poster. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and isn't he the second fiddle in Angus, too? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. Oh, he wow, is. that is the Shermanator. Look yeah. at him. And by the he, way, you know, he, actually, I just was reading of Major Pain the other day because I rewatched <laughs> The Last Starfighter. Um, uh, did an episode with Junk Food Cinema on that, but I was. I was totally like taken by surprise. Wow, the shape from Halloween directed Major Pain. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, Nick wow. Castle. What, Nick Castle? Yeah. Oh shit, that's we, weird. We so will have to yes. do. We will have to do Absolutely. Major Pain at some point. That movie is fucking nuts. I, oh yeah, saw, saw that in the drive-ins. I did. Chris Ooh. Owen also did a uh, ate some pubes in um, what the hell is that movie? She's all that. Mm. Oh, Freddie Prince that, Jr. is like, gotta eat pubes, oh, dude. Uh, <laughs> and of uh, course, he's he's the famous kleptomaniac and yeah. can't hardly wait. Oh, yeah. yes. And uh, steals also, the police car while a fucking Blink-182 song is playing. By that's the way, true. In that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to break it to you folks. We're definitely doing Major Pain because uh, Sir Bam Bam Bigelow is in that movie. <laughs> yes, he oh, is. Oh, wow. The United yes. Final. <laughs> <laughs> that senile old bat in Buckingham is going to toss it out knighthoods. <laughs> Is he the shitty dad? It just says huge bike. He's credited as huge oh, biker. Oh, yes. Yeah, yep, I remember. Yep. <laughs> oh, bam, bam, Bigelow. <laughs> why, 
favorite of all the New Jersey wrestlers. Rise, Sir Bam Bam of Asbury Park. <laughs> She's <Yes>. losing it. <laughs> Fucking night and wrestlers. <laughs> All right. be put That's down. It. The queen will be making no more public appearances for the year except for this hologram of her yeah. younger for some reason. Anyway, it, toodaloo. It, it was actually the hologram that knighted Bam Bam. <laughs> uh, that was just, uh, we, were, we were testing it out, and uh, Bam Bam was nice enough to come down. Well, to be Dude, fair, found- uh, Bam Bam died in 2007, much like the queen. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, Bam Bam, <laughs> now we're meeting in heaven once again. You mean hell, right? Yeah. <laughs> hell is heaven to me, you see. <laughs> right. She's going to rule over the ashes. Yeah. Us filthy imperialists just love going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a crazy fucking line in that Kevin speech that it's like, dude, I, I want to think that if the Kevin character fell on hard times, this dude's 4chan and in fucking storm in the mm-hmm, capital because mm-hmm. one of the lines Definitely. here is he's talking about like you know we got to stand up for ourselves and all the other guys out there he goes every man who isn't getting laid and should be uh-huh Ooh. that's a, should that's, be sir uh-huh. that's yeah. and that's incel behavior a number one dude yep how dare you not be get, how dare how dare i just be getting blowjobs is the uh, <laughs> is the kevin <laughs> The God. Kevin plight. Damn. <laughs> These fucking uh, kids, man. I, I do love, then they, then they start talking at the hot dog stand like we talked about. They're, they're kind of going over the terms of this very vague pack that they're going to get all get it, laid by. Right. It, by the way, and, deeply weird to be like, listen, okay? In, uh, by three weeks, going. all of us have to get laid. It's like. Uh-huh. He also right. puts it out there. And it, guess, it has to, it's got to be. Totally, uh, uh, I think what is it? It's consensual, is the first right. consensual, no consensual, no prostitutes, but also consensual. He says no prostitutes to like soften it up. It's like, guys, let's keep it clean out there. All right. Like, I, I yep, know totally if, if you're, you know what I mean? Like, we all want to win this pact, but come on, guys. Now, now I've given you all each uh, two index cards that's to place the come afterwards <laughs> in between. <laughs> To yes. prove that you have done the sex. Exactly. I want to know. I want to know. And I, I want to hear about it. And so they decide that prom is their last chance. Sure. That's, that's the okay. deadline. We don't have any kind of like everybody put their hand in thing, which yes. I don't think this movie's above. Yes. They should have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a Woe get, Bundy kind of a scenario. Yeah. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And we get into... The fucking needle drops are fucking totally wild, dude. But so we get this montage of them kind of setting to work, you know, chasing after whatever tail they're chasing after. Two. Anybody notice it? Anybody oh, yeah. remember which oh, one? Flag oh, 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 Danger. Danger. Yes. Flagpole Sitta. Holy Classic. shit, dude. The not song. on the not on the theme, uh, not on the soundtrack, which I would have I would have fucking been furious. What? I'm like, I That's wanted Flagpole Sitta. What the fuck Absolutely. is going on? Well, you wanted you want that to lead. They had like a, a new tonic song. Ooh, ooh thank you. That so much. tonic song was huge. It was though, a big dude. boy. That, that but, massive. And then this bad as a fire. Right. Disease and you're on top. <laughs> oh, you, you know, think it's so pretty. You hear that song, you know God. you're having a good time tonight. Exactly. You yes. know the boys are back together. Let's listen to that song again. But, Am I it? wrong here though? I I don't is that in the movie? I don't think it is. I think it was trailer only. It was trailer only, but I think it might make it into the sequel. It's definitely trailer. Because they knew what they had there, dude. They were like, everybody keeps talking about that song from the trailer. We gotta put it in the rest of the movies. We blew it the first time. We can't (laughs) fail them again. Look, we can't do we can't ignore James again. They've been ignored by the public enough. That's the the band that did it. Yes. In the uh, oh yes, you're right. (laughs) The um the uh Oh my god! Yeah. It's like a yodeling cowboy. Uh-huh. You know, that's what that sounds like when you do that. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Jim making this. Uh, it's like e date profile. Mm-hmm. This yeah. is right. so early internet, man. This is quaint it's, and it's, quite it's, hilarious. It's, it's cool to see that they're at, they're not ignoring it completely. Like the internet obviously plays a big factor in this movie, but at the same time. They're overestimating it, maybe, because like, who's who was able to stream a good video? In, oh my god! Uh, oh, forget 99. about it. No, no, 
No, well, I don't know. These no. little rich boys, they they could have. That's fair, actually. <laughs> they they are fucking stinking rich. I could smell it on them. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> One of the things I was fucking pretty stunned about is there's that shot after that montage comes to a close. We're back at the school for a second, and uh, there's just this shot. They are in the middle of this hallway with their fellow students walking all around them, and Kevin has a shopping bag. And he's doling out multiple boxes of condoms to these dudes, like just right there. And it's like, one, why is Kevin the guy that's going to the fucking drugstore and getting all the condoms? Because he's the only one that's into it. And everyone's like, God damn it, Kevin. (laughs) Yeah, I think you're right. Thank you for the free condom, dude. Awesome. I will say that's I found it a lot more like relieving at the end of this movie when they fucking say fuck you. to Yes, absolutely. I was like, I I, I did. It's very cathartic. I kind of was shrugging at it the first time I saw it. But like now I'm like, oh, yeah, he's a fucking pain in the ass. That's it is the you know, it's the beauty of hindsight, dude, because because I'm telling you, the last time I watched this movie, I didn't think Kevin was an asshole. Yeah. Kevin's totally an asshole. He's a fucking creep. And I also didn't really understand that, like, the three of them are kind of just like, yeah, I guess we'll do it. But, like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's he's getting T-shirts made for this thing. <laughs> exactly. okay? he, that's You know what? You're totally right. Because Kevin's getting T-shirts made for everything. It's always like, yes. <laughs> dude, gentlemen, when are we going to Vegas? Got the T-shirts made. And it's like, yep. okay, and then we'll do that. And then, like, but Kevin's like, yeah. We're doing dinner steaks. We're all getting. Well, I don't want. Yeah. No, no, no. We're in Vegas. Gotta get yep. steaks. And it's like, <laughs> fuck, dude. I just wanted the chicken looks yeah. really good. Can I well, do that? And there you go. There's the rich angle again. Because like, who who has the money to buy? He's got like ten boxes of these condoms. <laughs> yes, more. it's crazy how many boxes of condoms he's given. Like. Jason Biggs is holding like two boxes of condoms in his hand. And I'm like, what are you doing yeah. with those kids? Also, look, Oz playing lacrosse, like that's a rich school thing, right? And oh, absolutely. Because yes. you guys have lacrosse teams up there? We did, yeah. Really? We did. We lacrosse was did. very popular. Really? In high I, yeah. I did yeah. not know it was real. I thought it was a movie thing. Um, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no. It was It was so very, why, very popular. I would say it was probably, honestly, like the third... Um, Probably biggest sport in our school behind like football and baseball. That is cr- you had baseball yeah. too. Wow, we had, we had field baseball. hockey. Field I, hockey. We had soccer. We had baseball. Yeah. We wouldn't. The, the school would not pay for uh, football because of the insurance. So and, and it was an all oh, yeah, boys school, and like everybody cool. wanted to do it. And then like nah, we had track and field and football, yep. but football disbanded due to a lack of interest for a year or two. <laughs> yeah. Maybe came You'll back later. That. But lacrosse that is that game just. It's only played by high school students. I understand. Like they, you can't. ESPN is. There is. Are they playing? Are they playing? There is professional. There is professional. Lacrosse? There's well. There's college lacrosse. There is professional lacrosse. Like very low radar. Right. But like it's there. It's it's yeah. there. But like no. Like cricket has to have way more viewership and shit. Like no oh, one's oh, watching sure. lacrosse. Oh. No, no, it's 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 not huge. Oh, cr- a cricket over in the UK and other places. Oh, right, like, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely massive. That's sport. true. That's true. Massive sport. Um, we, we've taken but yeah, a no, hit. It was- the lacrosse community has taken a hit over the years. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta help us. Watch us again. Net for us. We a new net. So what, we a, need- what are the con- the concept is? There's a now. Is that ball hard or soft? That they're. F- I believe it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's quite hard. hard. Yeah. And you have to catch it in like a dog catching net. Yes. Yeah. And then you hurl it. At a at a goal, is that yes? Is it's that, yeah, a soccer goal. that way? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, pretty much. And <laughs> and it's now, like, can you, you use it. your hands or feet? What what what, what are the restrictions? Uh, you're you're your running. You're running. You're running. I I don't think you cannot use your hands to like pick up the ball. I do not believe. No, the goalie, like the goaltender, has a bigger netted stick than the rest of the players. So mm-hmm. if the um, ball if the ball hits the ground. Uh, yeah. you can't touch it. You have to like no. get it in your net, or do you you, you, gotta, you yeah. scoop yeah, it? Yeah, you scoop it up. The oh, way that the remove an article like clothing. That's the way I played it. <laughs> you remove an article of clothing. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, smart move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the thing I think should happen after the flagpole sit montage is that everything should be first person perspective. Uh, and we should be from Mark or Jez's perspective as they <laughs> yes. make their way through high school and see what's going on. No, Kevin is like at, at ten years from now, he's the guy you're dreading fucking bringing to your goddamn bachelor party. Oh, absolutely. And, like, yep. and, and yep. I, I think in the sequels, he is kind of the guy who is always like, ah, oh, the memories, brother. Exactly. Like, he definitely is. He My God, definitely is. Yes, he's is, he's is uh, the guy in the group chat that there's a separate group chat about. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> oh, like. No. 
<laughs> and, you know, it's just like, fuck Kevin, man. What the fuck is going on with that guy? He fucking made t-shirts. I've had four steaks on this fucking trip. <laughs> Guys, only, only the best. To... Steaks only. Yeah. He only wants us to go to steakhouses during the bachelor party. <laughs> during lunch, too. Oh, man. Imagine those shits. <laughs> oh, that's, Jesus. We, imagine we the colon the, cancer. The shit break thing. And it's always something that I've... Sure. You know, and I mean, because this is a thing. This is a, a a problem with society. We should all just be okay going to the bathroom in public. And people should be okay with people going to the bathroom in public. I've got to take a shit, ladies and gentlemen. It's just going to happen. Well, you've you always know? had such a cavalier attitude. You, you know, no shame is your Absolutely. philosophy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But, yes. Because yeah. it's it a fucking me. natural function. I, could, I would have loved to be able to do what shit breaks move was. But, but you know, my my house was an out, like an hour bus ride away <laughs> from the school. And yeah. uh, oh, mo- almost every single stall in the school, because your boys doesn't uh-huh. matter. No yep. doors on any of the stalls, so you don't no get, doors. So you don't get into yes. trouble. You understand? We are oh. just fucking taking a shit like it's jail. I've done that. <laughs> I've done that, Steve. You're welcome. I don't know. It's the <laughs> that's what I'm saying too. It's it's all it's all bad. Like that's also part of it. Like you should just be able to have a fucking shit. And that, uh, if we respected the institution, we wouldn't break well, the lock. You're talking. Here's, here's the thing, though, man. You're talking about two different things at the same time here. okay i agree with you that at no point should we and you know it's high school i'm guilty of this chris cabin is guilty of this i'm sure you guys are guilty of it in high school i'm innocent the the <laughs> you know a public he's taking a shit oh, or sure. he took a shit making yeah. fun of someone for taking a shit absolutely we shouldn't be doing that because everybody poops but where i disagree with you steve mm. is on the other side of just do it because I am a big germaphobe, and for a large portion of my life, I could not shit in public. I didn't shit in high school. I didn't shit in school. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. until, like, college, I think, befriending Mr. Cavalier himself, Steve Sadak, <laughs> did some of that finally brush off on me because I was using bathrooms at purchase in public. I wasn't running back to the dorm, but in high school, I never fucking took a shit. Absolutely not. Mm. I was too crazed about the germs, and I'd have to get to the home base where it was just the family germs. It was Listen, less to worry about, I guess. Uh, uh, Steve doesn't even like going into the bathroom these days. <laughs> tables, floors. Yes. In the street. Just in the street. Wa- the water- Everybody does it. What are you looking the, at? The water bowls that are supposed to be for the dogs. <laughs> if, in, in a future scenario, if society crumbled, in my opinion, but maybe heightened in yours, would you be okay with street defecation in mass? No, no. I, I want a, I want privacy. I want privacy, do. ladies and gentlemen. I do. Sure. I absolutely do. Oh, yeah. I want a door that closes that has a lock. That's Floor all to I ceiling need. commode. Mm-hmm. Floor oh. to ceiling oh, commode. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Hell yeah. You're, you're talking about science fiction now. <laughs> I've only seen that. I've only seen that style of bathroom, I think, three times in my life. Once yes. uh, at Union Hall in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. They yep. have oh, a yeah. commode a- situation there. Facilities. I think the Met Beautiful. Opera House also. Oh, is that yes. right? I yes. So. Um, and uh, the downtown draft house, their commode section of the bathroom, and it's, floor to ceiling doors. And it's genderless. You don't have to worry about any of that horse shit. It's just like everybody needs to take a shit. Yeah. And here's a little room <laughs> for you to do it in and enjoy <laughs> the rest of your life. Man, I, 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 as much as you're hung up on the bathroom, Steve, thank God you're not one of these guys that's like trying to police who could go in, you know, exactly. do whatever. No, no. Because again, should be- it shouldn't matter. Just no, go in. Everyone's going to no, take no. a shit. Yeah, who gives go. a fuck? But to get back to the movie for a second, <laughs> if, if we can, no, if I could, because Eddie K. Thomas has a line here where he says, and it's fucking hilarious that he's clocked it, but it's like 16 minutes round trip or something <laughs> like that. Like if I could have gotten back to my house in high school in eight minutes of walking or whatever, I definitely would be going home to take a shit. No oh, doubt about it. I definitely. would be Andrew shit break Jupin. No doubt about it. <laughs> no, um, I, I mean, I, I will take any facility that has a lock. I'm I'm happy with the. Uh, that's all I need. I, you can see my ankles. I you know it's not the 30s here. Uh, it's the I, no, but like I, I, and after hearing like the idea of Eric like holding up his jacket to get some privacy so there's no I door. Didn't uh, I? Did you bring I, a shower curtain? No. Uh, I I was sort of like you, Andrew. I I, tr- I tried never to do it at school. I definitely did it at least once or twice. And my friends, you're just. You're, you're crossing your fingers that no one's coming in. 
I've been there. I've been there. And it's just sort of like, I hope it doesn't have to come to this because someone's going to look at me. Uh, but the funny thing about him, uh, Eddie K. Thomas's Finch character is he, he goes up to Kevin. He's like, listen, whatever you hear about me, just say yes. And right. you find out later on that he's paid Natasha Leone to say that they'd have sex and to start all these insane rumors about how big his dick is, et cetera, if he has a tattoo. And so on and so on. And it just kind of gets out right. of control. <laughs> yeah. He um, fucks Stifler's mom before right. he actually an fucks Stifler's mom. An, an affair with yes. an older woman. Yep. Um, and then he beat up Stifler, was the one that sets off Stifler when he hears about that. Like, oh, really? And yes, the very memorable, I put a bunch of fucking x lax in his, because it's 1998 uh, oh, when we sure making this movie, his mocha chino. <laughs> oh, yes. man. And it's interesting because now, now Stifler, obviously no problems betraying him because he was never part of the pact, which is another interesting dynamic with this friend circle. Well, because Stifler's, you know, getting tail left and right, man. So yes. he's, he's is he, though? Cons- oh, yeah. I mean, he smacks I that think- lady's rump, which is uh, non-consensual, but is he, like, yeah. banging in this movie? Did I miss I it? I think you are to just sort of assume he is a right. bit of a scuzzy well, ladies' man, yes. Yeah, you're, you're never getting, like, it would be great if you did get the reveal, like, a, 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 as, like, the what happens with Shermanator, that, like, Stifler has never he done never anything. Yes. yes. That would be good. Did- did you guys ever have a, a friend who uh, pretended to do it, like said, and like it was very obviously that they yes. didn't? Chris yep. Cabin, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is. I I will you know never name and names. Here. Sure, I'm not of course not. Elia Kazan. But, uh, <laughs> uh, dude, dude, Aaron Harris. I'm not fucking standing up for that piece of shit. He said that <laughs> he never fucked. He never fucked once. <laughs> that guy lied about fucking. <laughs> that he fucked America. No, um, yeah, no, Chris, we have a guy. I'll tell you off the air. There's a guy. Yeah, it, it was because it was like weekly. It was yeah. every oh, fucking that's week. Stupid. You know what? I think some... I, am I thinking? I might be thinking of the guy too. Do I know? Do I know this gentleman? I don't. Oh, okay. Think so. There's no, another no, no, guy no, no, you guys no. also yes, know no, that no, I no, think no. would also be behind. <laughs> do this? Anyway. Yeah, 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 Steve, yeah. Steve I can knows see what that. I'm talking about. Mm, oh yeah. No, not not that guy. But there was a guy, and it was just like every. And you know, we're in like. You know, junior year of high school, senior year, like 17, 18 years old. And this guy's fucking like he's Peter North, if you're to believe him. And (laughs) we would just be like, I don't, and we never said anything, but it was always like, again, you know, it was the late 90s, early 2000s. So we didn't have texting. There was no group chats, but it was a lot of like when Mr. So and so wasn't around, like he's not getting it wet that much, right? Like, or if at all. Was he identifying girls at the school as well as his victims? Or was it just like, oh, yeah, no, I just, I met this chick at the mall. That's that's what it was, dude. Because it was, while we did not have texting, it was the age of aim, my Mm, friends. And it was a lot of like, I fucking have been yes. talking to this girl from the next town over. Yeah, it was that was the other thing. Nobody that was knows like immediately her. a red flag. No, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, this girl from this other school. We've been dating. I fucked this girl. I fingered that girl under the bleachers. But it was never. It was never anyone in the high school. And that was always like the biggest, obvious, dumbest red flag yeah. of the the whole affair. I my one of my best friends from high school came walking down the street. What I we were still going to the bus stop. Hold every on a day. second, Chris. He came while he was walking down the. <laughs> He also did that. He was a big uh, uh, cum walker. Got uh, it. So he, he written I, by I, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> he, he's walking down the street to beat me, and he's with our our other friend. And our other friend very loudly uh, at like I mean this is like six thirty in the morning starts <laughs> just yells down the street. He fucked her. Uh, <laughs> nice. Announcing that my friend had fucked her, and then like I get close to him, like okay, and, and, and he's like. Yeah, he introduced me to this girl. You know, I, uh, we had a good time too. And then my my friend looks at him. He's like, "No, you didn't." And then he <laughs> looks back at me, and he's like, "Yeah, it was weird." Public call out, just yep, right there, like, right "No, there. you didn't have sex." Cold. No, yeah. like literally, like, "No, you did not." <laughs> like, wow, just, yeah. incredible I, move! It was amazing. That's a power play. It man. is. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So, like, that's you know. Uh, he takes the big shit. That he takes was the, the big, big shit, yeah. yes. And like, and everyone's got these... In the girls' room. In the girls' room, and then all the girls look at him like, oh, my God, he took a shit in the girls' room. So now he's like, 
he he's uh, any good stuff ha- happening for him is now gone by the time yeah, he's he eliminated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And, uh, but, yeah, the crowd form like the girls that are in there and they hear the shitting and they run out. But it seems like Stifler has corralled the school yes. in the hallway. Definitely, yes. and they're all just laughing at him. And it's like sometimes. All the time, everyone, every day, someone has a violent shit. It just happens. <laughs> it's, it's, and... it's happening right now. You're probably, you <laughs> gentle listener, probably taking an enormous shit right now. Totally. Mm-hmm. It's the best way to listen to this show. Remember I mean, <laughs> to wipe. Mm. Oh, excellent advice. Yes. I, I, Finch, I think the reason I also always uh, uh, bombed up to Finch is because he's got the funny storyline. Yes. He doesn't have yeah. to really hold this major, like, arc of character building uh throughout like chris klein going to choir with menusvari like yes. it's kind of boring not for, it's like, incredibly boring they're, they're, <laughs> they they have some chemistry a little bit i guess but yeah. like it, it, it's tough because like clearly whites is not alexander payne so he doesn't know really what to do with klein mm-hmm. he's just yeah. like hey talk you're handsome do this Talk uh, in a very loud stage whisper. Yeah, is what he's doing because that's his like his sort of like, you know, uh, you know, emotional whatever kind of. I'm a soft thinking, soft hearted yes. kind of guy. Uh, yeah. I do, I do think that they have chemistry though. I was actually thinking it watching it today. The two of them, I do think, have pretty decent chemistry. But you were just watching these kids, John Cho in this chorus too, singing. Do you believe in magic? And man. I fucking hate that song. That's a pretty bad <laughs> yep. one. Well, it's a cappella, folks. So, well, yeah. that's also that's the fucking devil's music. I will not be <laughs> convinced otherwise. Yeah, that the piece of shit art form. The Queen's down there listening to a cappella <laughs> with John Wayne and, and yeah. Bam Bam Bigelow. And Bam Bam oh, Bigelow. Duke, don't you love listening to all this delicious music down here with me and so Bam Bam? It's as hell, lady. It sure feels <laughs> like it. I do not believe in magic. Era, you didn't tell me you were uh, watching it again. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm going to put on some Van Halen and we're going to rock. Era, I'll tell you, I believe in a uh, magic bullet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that song was used in a Burger King commercial at some time sure. in the 90s. That sounds right. It and was a it huge was just- fu- fucking song. Yeah, like it was 70s everywhere. Or yeah. yeah, and it's just, man, I hate it. Because, like, Oz's <laughs> plan, such as it is, is like, oh, the, you know, this woman told me to be sensitive, so I'm going to try and do it. He's seen reading a YM magazine uh, for, uh, for oh, a Oh, I missed that. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh. when was that? It's just, it's it, during the montage that kind of does just, nothing. Oh, okay. He's, he's watching a show about birdhouses, yeah. and he's got a YM magazine. What is, okay, what is, oh, I remember him watching the TV. What is yeah, right. YM magazine? Was that young? Young male? I don't know. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Is this you guys talking about happiness? Some, <laughs> no, some some youth. It was a teen, it was a teen yeah. magazine. Uh, yeah, uh, no, mostly yeah. mostly for Not women. familiar. Uh, or for gals. Um, but oh, it was for gals. Yeah, I so said. Was it oh young maidens? <laughs> it might have been. I'm trying to find out what the YM stood for. Why I'm going to How start. is that not the first thing on the Wikipedia page? YM started uh, in the 1930s. Nice. Um, whoa. No ankles. Compact, uh, <laughs> which named, uh, w- which was aimed at older teens, and calling calling all girls was another magazine at the time. Ooh. Calling all girls. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> I just I got nothing for YM. So nothing. Why wow. did I get it? Oh, what? Maybe Youth Monthly? Was oh, that, that might maybe be that's it. it? Yeah, or maybe, or maybe it's just like the actual, like, uh, the, the initials of, like, the, com- the the overseeing company, like, the Ye- uh, Jaeger Mahler, like, yeah. uh, oh, some magazine. It is your that owns magazine. It. Oh, oh, look at that. I just Googled YM meaning, and there's some list of acronyms and definitions came up. And the first one says, You moron. <laughs> it stands yeah. for you moron. It resonates. Nice. It does resonate to think that. <laughs> but so then he winds up joining the choir because he thinks, you know, he's going to join uh, the, you know, uh, he's going to, you know, find a gal there. This is when we see the only black people in this movie that might even have any dialogue. It's insane how few black people are in this movie. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, because the, the teacher is a black actress. And I think maybe like 
one or two students in the choir are people yes. of color, but that's kind of it. Because you yeah. would want, like, especially even in, like, the gym scene when we're seeing all these different groups of people, like, not a single black person tuning in on that. Okay. No. Totally it's just, cool. It's well, just the girl that Menace Savari talks to from choir. It is It is pretty crazy, but, you know, I, mean, I think Michigan's been plowing ahead trying to make a white ethno state eventually. So maybe this is... <laughs> This is like it's the true. one pocket where they're getting it getting it down it's, right. It's possible. It's good representation for the state. <laughs> uh, that's, a Tim, that's why Tim Allen lives there. Um, yes. And they. What yeah. was the thing with Tim Allen? Did you just see this? I, I, Chris, what, did you tell us about I, this? I, yes, I did because it happened right near my in-laws' house. Uh, Tim Allen like spilled an entire yacht's worth of gas into a marina. Jesus. And they had to close it down for the whole day. Now you're talking. Like, you're talking about fuel, not farts. Fuel, absolute <laughs> okay. fuel, not just, not just the farts. You. But you can't fart near it because then it will set fire, <laughs> and then you know we're all in trouble. But yeah, that I went downtown that day and it literally smelled like gasoline everywhere. Oh my <laughs> god, what a fucking asshole! And everybody like now this is like the most uh, uh, packed time around Traverse City. So like literally everybody, you just like hear people murmuring everywhere. Yeah, that fucking Tim Allen, that piece of shit. You know, like, like literally everywhere I go, you just hear it echoing. That's nice. he should have like bought the whole town dinner or something. <laughs> he does a lot of. Uh, apparently, he does a lot of uh, 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 work for the local theaters. I don't know. All right, well that's fine, but yeah. keep your fucking he gas also, in your boat. Yeah. He also probably does a lot of work now. for the uh, fucking local police department. That fucking snitch. Oh, so probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, but uh, they whatever, and like that's kind of their sweet story. And like he's playing lacrosse, and you know Stifler's giving him a lot of shit. Like, why are you doing? It's like, dude, the chicks are so cute here. It's specifically Mina Savari. They mm-hmm. start getting getting going, hot and heavy. And yeah, this is like a little. A, like a 19 minute rom com in this movie, you know what I mean? Like a different, yeah. a different movie, pretty much. Because you could, you know, and they've done this. This movie exists, of course it does. I mean, them. That's the movie. Heather yes. and Oz, mm-hmm. like, that's a movie, and yeah. that's just the only story. Oh. And that's like the annoying thing about this movie. Even though I, I do like this movie. I think this is a totally fine three star affair. But like. <sighs> It just makes it feel so oddly segmented that a lot of it, it doesn't feel like there's a flow. At least we do have the timeline of we have to get this done by prom. So you're on the clock, but it's like, it just feels like a bunch of disparate scenes, you know, unless we're all interacting together, which kind of doesn't happen in a lot of scenes. I think this is very uh, emblematic of the, the sitcom kind of writing that was going on now that like, let's just get as many funny scenes as we can in here. And like, all the parts that people like that test well, like a romance story, like, you know, uh, a sex Bible. I don't know. Uh, all these things that test well, like just put them in there. It doesn't matter how we shape. And by the way, they did make uh, the movie that they're having yep. in this movie. It's called Here on Earth. And I think it's a cancer lady movie. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Oh. I, I think it's that. I think <laughs> Lily Sobieski has cancer. But this, now I feel like this this Oz's relationship, I think you kind of need it because otherwise there's not really uh, no one has like a turn of heart and everyone's yes. just like right dying to come. And that's all that matters. And then also, you you know, you ha- there's plenty of jokes in the movie, but I feel like it was just if, if there were a few more scenes of them striking out with girls instead of this, it would be. Yeah, you'd be t- you'd be tapping that watch. Mm-hmm. Well, well, yep, it, that's true. At the same time. Like greasy as ever, fucking uh, Kevin. Rather than he's he's tried to you know he's tried to send flowers. He's tried to apologize a few times. So what is he gonna do? He's gonna fuck his way out of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and <laughs> what he does is he does a thing you should never do, and he takes sex advice from Cass- Cassie Apple <laughs> over the phone from a sushi restaurant. I don't know what the fuck this is about him because he's a cool I, older guy. That's I guess idea. just yeah. just to get the spicy tuna hand roll joke in is the yes. whole thing. And I also guess. because Casey Affleck was nowhere near this movie, uh, like no. they had him for half an an hour, and he's like, sure. But this was like 1999. Like you're making this movie in 98. Who the fuck was Casey Affleck? It's a good point. Like, yeah, because it's pre Oceans. Famous it's brother just before Good Will Hunt. It's just after Good Will Hunting. Oh, which I forgot he's in. He's yeah. pretty big in it. Yeah. All right. So that's. I just. I had completely, totally forgotten that that was him. I want to say honestly, the last time I watched this movie, I probably wasn't that super aware of KCF like as a mm. person that's like how long it's been since I had seen this movie 
But I was because I was watching it today, and he pops up in the scene over the phone, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I totally here? forgot him too. And it's like, oh yeah, dude, you've got the old Bible handed down from all. Because like like any fucking kid in high school's ever figured out how to eat fucking pussy, like Christ on the <laughs> cross, like you know what I mean? That's a it's, that's a yeah. Bible of worthless information. How it's about really that? <laughs> not that hard, kids. It, <laughs> Uh, but the funny thing is, like this again, uh, you know, kid uncovers the sex book in his high school and shares it with his friends. That's also just another movie, yes. and they fucking realize that because one of them, their direct to streaming or direct to DVD sequels, is the Book of Love, and it is literally just kind of like a soft reboot of American Pie. Like it's about a kid who finds the book and it's like, now we're now all my fucking weird pervert friends are looking at the book. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> we refuse to return the book of sex to the, to the Middle East where we stole it from. It we're going to put it on display in the v and <laughs> I'm just imagining now when the Nazis were trying to get it and they were like, and, and bring back the book of sex to your Fuhrer without knowing that it works. No, we have to eat pussy on this island. <laughs> <laughs> he puts on a headdress. <laughs> <laughs> a headdress for sure. Head <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I uh, really love the scene where Eugene Levy tries to have the talk with him. Oh, yeah. Porno magazines. God damn. And I guess the thing was with this movie, Eugene Levy, like um, Chelsea told me this after we watched it, but that like he was not thrilled at all with the script if you could even believe it and he was like yeah i'll do this movie if i can just like improvise everything that i do oh and so that's, that's why, he's why funny. okay yes, yes yeah. that's why it's that's the it. fucking leaps and bounds the funniest part of the movie no doubt yes. about it when he's talking about uh, breasts he's like which are large and they're used for um feeding infants and uh four plant <laughs> feeding infants yeah, made yeah, me yeah, cackle yeah. in my house and i did not expect to laugh at that movie but yeah the, but. The feeding feeding infants mostly <laughs> yes <laughs> the a and he love- takes for a walk on shaved mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> well like that's what's kind of great like it is clearly mr levinson has thought about this he's very familiar with the content of all of these porno mags because there is an escalation to this. There's a presentation to all of it because it's like yeah. the first one is just like perfect 10 and it's like it's just breasts and that's when the, the breast line happens. And then he's like, now this is Hustler and this is a little more erotic and you'll see there's full frontal nudity here and then the escalation to shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I want to quickly mention, maybe stop a tweet, maybe stop some madman polishing a gun on Reddit. You, you kept on saying Levin's son, but it's Levenstein apparently. Mm. Oh, is that right? Yeah, okay, I just want to stop a tweet I pulled up the IMDb for American Wedding, where we get last names on our character oh, descriptions. Oh, so really? Yeah. There we go. I think they're probably on the first one, too, and I just missed it. But good catch. Levin Steen, it is. Um, and then, oh, my God, with Shaved, though, when he's like, yes, and it, uh, you see it here quite clearly. Uh, sort of looks like a little bit of an underwater sea creature. <laughs> <laughs> you see that look in her eye, that, that little, you know? <laughs> Oh, hey yeah. there. Hey, hey there. Big hey, boy. Big boy. Yeah. Well, yeah, the way he says it, like, she's like, hey there, big boy. It's just, a, it's a question. It's so. <laughs> and again, yes, it is all improvised. That's why it's much funnier than the rest of the movie. Yeah. Uh, he finds the fucking drawer full of condoms and he's like, well, it's better than a sock. Yes. Uh, and he <laughs> which leaves. Which is also great. He leaves the condom on his ass, which is the joke. And then the pie fucking scene, which needs to happen. Uh, oh, right. absolutely. Because there's a, well, this line about uh, it feels like warm apple pie. Yeah. What does third base feel like? It feels like warm apple pie. And I mean, all right. <laughs> sure. But, uh, you know, I mean, look, hey, it's a it's a classic but, line. I've, I've used this line before. I'll use it again after today. Just go jerk off. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to be fucking this pie, man. It's, yeah, it's. It's it's insane. What are you getting ready for a potluck? <laughs> <laughs> or bring it into the bathroom and lock a door. Like I am not sticking my dick at anything without a locked door I, but anywhere. One of the funnier things about this to me is in the trailer for the movie, it's actually spicier. He actually is fight. He's like fucking yes. the pie oh, against right. the wall. Wow. Whereas in this, it's missionary. He's just he's just <laughs> humping a pie on the island. Mm. Uh, and of course, the, the oh the, wait a second, wait a second. Which 
so you saw on the island? I on yes. the island. Yeah, yeah. He's on the island. That's because what I, saw too. I had against the I had wall. against the. I had against oh, really? the counter. Yeah, yeah against yeah. the wall, the counter. Oh, Interesting. Man, two Weird. Yeah, oh, because, God. yeah, he's on. That's right. Now that I'm remembering it, he's on the island, like, fucking it. Like, really going for it. Yeah, oh, right? my God. Wait. Is the director's? Is it actually so spicy? Did the, at, did the fucking ratings board actually, like, that's too spicy. That the, the against the wall pie fucking. Well, where did you much. watch it? Because Eric and I watched it on I Peacock. Watched it on Peacock. Where did you watch I it? pulled up the IMDb. I confirmed the run times were the same on Peacock and IMDb. So I don't know if there was an alternate version. I got the. I, no, I, I watched the unrated version on I on Amazon, and that did you're have a super the, fan. Absolutely had to do it. <laughs> okay, so unrated version, Chris. Maybe that's what as you watched the, as well. Yeah, yes. that's what I watched. It. Yeah, so I guess that the spicier oh, one is the missionary. It's I the missionary because I, I was reading apparently the uh, the. PAA did have problems with how many pumps he got in. Like that was yeah, part yeah, of the problem. Sure. Would, I should have realized it would have been an uncut version because we loved doing that shit back then. Oh, of course. Oh, so the yep. DVD because you you release the DVD and then six months later it's like holy shit, I, it's oh, unrated. Yeah. What? It's, Steve, Wait, can you also what? Could you confirm that you we also see a little ass? Yes, yeah, you see his ass cheeks in that. that you definitely see his ass. Yeah, do I you see it, it when yeah. they stand up too? Okay. Uh, oh, when he's standing up, I don't think no, you do. Uh, That's the, the thing. shirt. Yes. The shirt is kind of covering most of it. You definitely see his ass what? more oh. in the on the island missionary fucking. Like he's yes. he's fucking the pie, uh, such as it is, like against the kitchen counter, and so like his crotch area is probably up against like a cabinet door, or, like a drawer or something, mm. and it's all like he's facing away, and Eugene Levy walks in, and he turns around, and he's holding the pie like over his crotch basically now th- uh, this I'm, I'm gonna only ask one more question about between the unrated and this <laughs> please <laughs> do you have the scene where eugene levy uh forces him to eat the cum pie no oh, you're uh, lying <laughs> 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 now you're gonna have to eat it that you made your bed Look, we got. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to your mother. We're gonna say we eat it. You, you're gonna eat now, it now. The, the f- you eat from the goo out. <laughs> you go from goo to crust. Wait, did he? Did he? Did he ejaculate in it? You think? Because I now the par- the father walks in. They it kind of stops right, but maybe he had no problem jerking off in front of his parents earlier. So maybe he yeah. did nut in that. That was, that was that was the maybe time to shoot. Moment. Yeah. Dad, just give me a second. I'll be right with you. <laughs> I think he's got like a humi- humiliation fetish, right? Probably oh, the webcam thing coming up. That could be. Again, yeah, like, yeah, you're, if right. you're, you're said, we'll talk. Let's just get into the webcam. So, yeah. Shen, Shen Elizabeth is in this movie. She plays yes. the sexy exchange student because we're just borrow- Nadia. We're borrowing that from 1986. Uh, <laughs> totally. And, you know, and she's. Uh, Jim has a huge crush on her earlier in the movie. He tries to talk to her and like, and that's a humorous Oof. scene where he's just, he start, like everyone's laughing. So he's laughing and then he doesn't know what to say. And he kind of creeps away. And that's kind of funny. I mean, the, the I'm laughing my way into a conversation. Never a great idea. No, not a good one. Because like, you don't know what they're laughing at. And the question always will come back to you. What are you laughing at? (laughs) Because you're not part of the conversation, Jim, and this is weird. And the fact that you just continue laughing without saying anything, it's a real face plant. Like this kid, this kid, he must be a punishment pig because he keeps bouncing back from this shit. (laughs) Yeah. I, after this face plant, I, you know. I'll see you at graduation. No more social stuff for me, well, man. Well, well, post post what we're about to talk about. I I see no other exit other than suicide. I really yep. do. Oh other, yeah, I, I just don't understand well, how you could think otherwise. You walk right into Lake Michigan, dude. And right into so it. Put pe- some rocks in your pockets. Easy as fucking pie. <laughs> People saw you prematurely ejaculate, and they probably saw- twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, I'm just trying to. Make, I'm trying to say it's not as bad as it sounds, but I guess it is. I mean, but also like <laughs> this kid is geared up to be a geek squad creeper. Like that's his yeah. job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh like, yeah. Just, good old fucking Jim Toilet Cam Levenstein. Yep. She's gonna be an Airbnb host in no time. Well, because that's the weirdest <laughs> part. Is like so. Like she's like, oh, you know, do you can help me study? And I, I have ballet practice, so I have to change when I get to your house. And then Stifler is like, dude, you got to put your webcam and film her. And then, like, everybody agrees. Even, like, Finch, who's supposed to be I the was sensitive Finch, one. Yeah, exactly. I was hoping Finch would might stick up and be like, this is fucking gross. This is gross. It's criminal. <laughs> we shouldn't be doing this. But no, everyone's like, yep. you got to do it, dude. And I'm like, I guess... 
do you have to do? Do you uh, no. uh, like it's like the drill tweet? Like uh, you, ISIS, you don't under any circumstances have to hand it to them. You know what I mean? Like it's very similar. Like you don't have to do this. Like you could be like, oh, cool, she's naked in my room right now, and like you know, fantasize or whatever. That's fine. But the filming yeah. and also the broadcasting, like if you could, yeah, it's it's bad. It's all sorts of bad. It's it's definitely bad. And there's you know the Shermanator calls uh, Kevin to to rub it in that apparently he sent it to the entire email directory of the school. Question mark. Yeah. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> Do people big have time. emails associated with the school, or is it like an email list the school has? And for some yep. reason, all these kids. Have email, which I assure you, folks at home, it wasn't as common in '99. No, but it it do. I mean, like it was. It's a little early, but this is just starting to happen. Where you have an email directory for public school teachers, because like I, for teachers, I, it, but not students, not students. Right? That's I mean, a little college, weird. Yes. That it's going to students. Yeah, like college. Yes, that's again. But that's the, you're you're upping the adulthood of them to make certain jokes work. That's true. So yeah. like they're giving certain adult privileges to them to allow this to work. But what is insane about all of this, and if I were Jim here, after this gross public humiliation, uh, I would not be friends with these guys anymore because the fucking Shermanator blows the whistle. He's like, hey, guys, your fucking idiot friend emailed everybody. I'm watching it right now. Mm -hmm. At no point do uh, either fucking Kevin or Finch get up and run yeah. over to Jim's You're house right. or call the house or yeah. anything like that to be like, hey, man, this girl's naked all over the school email. Like, you're fucking dancing like an asshole. Like, no one tries to put out this fire. And also, like, listen, I would never accept a fucking link from you guys where you're like, hey. <laughs> uh, and I would also never ask you to send me the link. Of, I'm going to go have sex. You know what? Can you send me a link for that, dude? Yeah, so exactly. I can watch <laughs> it on your webcam. I have no yeah. interest. It is interesting that she's um, the only nudity in this movie. You know, there's yes, because yeah. everybody else is not, uh, except for some man ass. With, a lot of boy nipples, you'll get those. Uh, oh, movies oh, sure. love boy nipples. <laughs> but she's naked for a good point of the portion of the scene, and like, yes. she's a fantasy fucking character. So she's like into looking at this dude's pornography, <laughs> dude. This it's <laughs> like, just it's the start just of a nonsense. porno scene. It's, like, yes. she yeah. opens the drawer and is just like. What is this? Oh, well, Jim is not back yet. I'm supposed to be changing here by myself. Maybe I'll start fingering yeah, myself. Yeah. Like, what are you fucking doing in this house? It's also a joke on how, you know, Europeans are more uh, not as puritanical as us Americans when it comes oh, to sure. sex. Yes, of course. They love it. I mean, it. the most insane thing about this, because she's like, oh, uh, yeah, I have the ballet practice. I can change at your house. Yes. I'll come straight from practice. Uh, and... So he like sets her up and then it's like another it's the Blink-182 mutt needle drop and he runs over to Kevin's house to watch it. Like, what does he think the fucking end game is going to be here with all of this? It's really insane. Well, then we're all just jacking off a to this this girl without her permission and B yeah. later to our friend having sex. Like we're all just watching it. Together. It's like re- yeah. it's fucking rock hard <laughs> revenge porn <laughs> without ever having betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> It's just it's just a random crime. It's just yeah. it's literally just a random crime. You're right. It's again, at least this is a, he's the geek squad fucking creep, dude. He is. Yep. Oh, exactly. He will install your TV and he will videotape you pissing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is he does have a good line here, like when he goes over to Kevin's house and they're watching it. When she opens the the night table drawer, he just goes, uh, She's going through my stuff. <laughs> like, dude, that is the least of your problems right now, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and he yes, said, like, they're about to have sex, and he comes immediately, which is very funny. And then, It's like touching her leg. Yes. Woof. And then, mm. like, she's even like, hey, let's give it another shot. And, like, he's like, all right, maybe. And then it just happens again. The weirdest part about all this, so, like, she uh he does this crime to her and everyone sees it like he's humiliated sure but her punishment is like her sponsors in this country saw it and sent her back to wherever the fuck like she, yeah she got yeah. deported that is such a <laughs> like come on she is a ca- it's such a casually dropped line like it's the next day they're at school <laughs> and jim's like 
Well, Nadia's sp- uh, sponsor family got so enraged, they sent her back to the Czech Republic. <laughs> and it's like, holy fuck, dude, she got deported because of your fucking gross well, sex prank? Because they can't actually... It's not like they can actually have her come back and actually have to deal with the, the consequences yes. of what that was. Yeah. Yeah, they have to get true. rid of her. They exactly. have to get rid of her right now. She's just a fantasy figure, and now she's she's right. gone. Because otherwise, you know, then what? Jim and her get it on, and the movie's over? I guess. Yeah, uh, I guess Allison yeah. Hannigan doesn't get to meet well, Jim. Well, that's the thing. Right? That's the next thing. Is like he, like, everyone is making fun of him in, at school, except for now the low... We've been seeing... Uh, Allison Hannigan kind of in periphery as like yeah. the nerd girl, the band girl. So now fucking we are just settling for Allison Hannigan, ladies and gentlemen. Is that what I'm <laughs> to believe? Am I to it's- believe that there is a universe where you're like, I guess I'll have sex with Ad- Allison Hannigan. I suppose so. <laughs> You know, you, you you got me into it. You I'm know, so you, you, fucking you finessed me. On one end, I'm so sick of getting blowjobs from Tara Reid, and now, <laughs> fuck, now I goddamn have to have sex with Allison Hannigan. Oh, my life. This terrible life of mine. Dude, that's another <laughs> interesting point about the movie. I mean, besides for Oz, who's actually trying to r- reach out to other types of women, they're all, like, obsessed with this, again, fantasy type of woman that's just, like, all for fucking or whatever. I don't even yes. know what they're yeah. imagining. Yes. They want they want a horny person. They, they, they want like the horniness to be up front. The romance should be in the back. Right. And that's true. Of Ke- I think that's true of Kevin as well. Yes. But like this is around when he gets. I mean, I was just talking about the sitcom setup, but like the Michigan yeah. State game being on the same day as the choir that is so that is the laziest fucking writing i've ever also heard. i love like, that that's literally fucking morton mindy shit. he's he's in, he's in Ro- morton mindy he's he's in that choir thing he's in lacrosse no one no, he never knows about this conflict though not, not yes it's just yeah that's insane right? i like, mean even the craziness. even the teachers would know of this conflict perhaps well, yeah. they keep saying it's I, Saturday, Saturday. He's just, I think that he's just too stupid to figure it out. Yeah, to be he's quite dumb, honest. dumb big ox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he's fucking up to his eyes and cum, dude. He can't get laid. <laughs> That's so, right. You know, he's not thinking you straight. You got to drain that shit. You got to get all the pastries you can find and <laughs> make some fucking. <laughs> just go to yeah. town. Totally just fucking demolish a Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, you like, just you know take what a I mean? regular donut. You make that a Boston cream. <laughs> Pie. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. It's not donuts. Eric, excuse me. His father, the, the family business is making subs. Uh, <laughs> right. So he's putting some, oh, right. some special mayonnaise, some aioli that, that, uh, that the, he's from the heir. Hey, sub fucker. <laughs> he's the heir to the Blimpy franchise or something, right? Indeed. Actually, Eric, Chris, you're out in Michigan right now. Is that sub yeah. country? Or are we talking, uh, or is it a hoagie? hoagies, grinders? I, 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 you can see more hoagies out here. Yeah, I, don't, I think oh. sub is, I, don't, I, don't, I think sub's more, uh, I don't know where subs are, but I don't think they're Michigan. I don't, I don't think, think they're so. Michigan, sir. I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for like uh, the pockets of you know. I, I'm, yeah, that's true. Up here, Grand I Rapids. Will say, who knows? It's kind of a great. It looks like a sub shop that could be really close to a college campus because it's got a cool name. It's called Subculture. Oh. I like that. Yeah. Pretty sharp little name there. They probably play the cool alternative radio station in there. What? You oh, know. Oh yeah, and they 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 probably asked the Zingermans, and they're like, no. No, you're not. You're not going to. What, film what it. the hell's that? Zingerman's is like place out there. it's it's a famous uh, sandwich shop, uh, and uh, and it's in Ann Arbor. Uh, in uh, like, I, this is like the stupidest thing for me to remember. But o- Obama visited it, and it was a huge <laughs> press thing, and they named a fucking sandwich after Obama. <laughs> oh, and really? It's an actually pretty good sandwich, but uh, uh, yeah, it's a it, sandwich that you're like eating it the whole time, and you think it's like a really good sandwich, and then when the sandwich <laughs> is gone, you're like, oh, I actually. I never ate a sandwich at all. Just, just had like, diarrhea. Just nothing, diarrhea just all day. Nothing came of that sandwich. Uh, yep, I know you thought it uh, was a good sandwich that when I was in office, but I came in it, and that's it. <laughs> that sandwich had eight <laughs> fucking years to codify abortion, but it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't be bothered. The sandwich couldn't Way be bothered. Way to go, sandwich. <laughs> But yeah, so like Oz is, yeah, Oz, we're doing this sitcom shit where it's like, oh no, am I gonna play the big game or uh, do the big fucking acapella recital with my girlfriend? And he does the big game, and she's disappointed. And in the middle of it, this coach who's got who is terrible and is out of nowhere, and we're trying to do like, <laughs> there's a bit where like the assistant coach is kind of repeating stuff. I'm like, this is not this movie. It's too late. Uh, I kind of like hype guy, okay. dude. <laughs> what I, I I gotta say, every time I hear 
culmination. <laughs> yes. I, I laugh. Yes. Every time. All right. It's oh, my God, dude. Whenever I hear the word culmination <laughs> in my head, I'm like, culmination. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, the funny thing is with this whole sitcom setup, he kind of gets to have it both ways because he does stay in the game long enough where they kind of have like racked up the score a little yes. bit because they're definitely doing a lot of like, we're kicking your ass and all this stuff, like really demolishing this other team. And then he decides to run to the to the choir recital. So like he kind of gets both, yeah. which is fine. I think that's a nice deal. I think that's a good deal. You get to go and see your girlfriend after you run up the score on these Michigan State idiots. Well, the thing is, yeah, you, exactly. would, you would think, I mean, in a, if the movie was about them, there would be fallout. Like, oh, the, the, the team is, like, disappointed in it. You never hear about yeah. the team ever again. No, so it's just sort no. of like whatever. He's a, he's a, he's a you know, a, a strapping young white man in the 90s. It turns out he can win. And win and win, no problem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he runs to the campus and goes in, and it's this hilarious, like, because he's running there. I guess the 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 thing is, he runs all the way from the field, so he's still got like the shoulder pads on, and he's running in cleats and whatever. But like, they've brought his outfit because they're all you know yes. the guys are wearing like you know shirts and ties and jackets and stuff and then magically chris klein he's like hey i'm here i can do the big the, you know he and me and me and suvari have been practicing this duet and whatever and he's just like now i can do the the recital and then like seconds later seemingly with this editing he's totally clean you know bathed yes. hairs quaffed you know he's got the clothes and i was like who brought the plot hole like, plot <laughs> hole <laughs> drive a truck through it <laughs> I, well, a good joke would be because there's a, a there's another guy in the choir that's like kind of his rival who takes over the the role once he says that he's going to play the game. Right. And that guy's kind of the same size as Chris Maybe. Klein. And I was like, it would be funny yes. if they made that guy yeah. take off his fucking clothes. <laughs> Do it. And they just cut to like the wings a of the theater and the guy's just like in his deleted boxers. Deleted scene would have been kind of funny. Then, then Chris Klein could say, hold my jock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, much shit. like. Much like Adam Driver and Annette, it seems like Chris Klein is the rare lover of the backstage shower because mm, he's no. also he's yes. very he's, he looks like he's gotten a, a good shower in before he goes to stage. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look all dirtied up from the field. no, it's crazy. Uh, but so they sing that terrible fucking song. Oh sure, by the way, uh, it's, bop, bop, bop it all over. It's the place. fine. I just want to say it's okay to like a song. I don't want to, you know. Yeah, and it's okay for me to fucking it is. Hate yeah. it. And I, hate it is. Yeah, I will say it uh, is. I'm not a fan of this movie and the acapella ain't helping shit. So there yeah, you go. Yeah, acapella, <laughs> never done. not great. I don't mind this song in its original iteration. Uh, but I, what I do really like about this scene is so like being the good friends that they are, uh, Jim and Kevin go to the auditorium to like see Oz do this performance or whatever. And I do love that it is just this like, I mean, it's a fucking acapella recital. So they're all just like, yeah, so very appropriately clapping or whatever. But then when they finish their song, the two of them stand up like, fuck yeah, Oz, you fucking rule. <laughs> That yeah, it's just kind of a good, it's yeah. kind of a good little, good little laugh there. Good one. Um, but so that's that sort of seals it up. Like she's happy with Oz again, and because there was a moment where she was like, "You were making fun of me with you know your lacrosse friends or whatever," which wasn't the case. A little bit of a misunderstanding there. But now they're all back to we're going to the prom again and everything. Shocked, fine. we only get a South Parkian gay in this movie as opposed as opposed to the full blown f bomb. Yeah. So there's that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, 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 absolutely. If you would have asked me what I would have expected from this movie, neither of them are good, but I'm just shocked that we got the soft that's gay dude well, as opposed to the full yeah. on you know. This was the pivot because yeah. 1998 can't hardly wait. You are yep. still using the f bomb. Mm -hmm. You're totally right. And then this is the first one where they're like, "Hey, we're just going to be a little insensitive, okay? <laughs> We're, We're not going to go full out. We're going to be shitty, not terrible. How's that? It's yeah. interesting that we, we did keep doing it throughout American cinema, right? I've it wasn't a full pivot, but no. this movie as a big box comedy that like historically would have been rampant with that shit, it is like sort of planting a flag like, see, you can do this movie without that slur. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, Stifler does say to Kevin Klein, like, or Kevin Klein, my God. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Was he's watching it? He's says, just sitting at home watching In and Out. Gay. <laughs> the fuck did you say to me, Stifler? Uh, Kevin Klein's uh, trying to get with a, a high school choir girl. 
Uh, no, he says to Chris Klein, he says, because he's, he's singing again yes. in the locker room, you know, practicing his solo. And he says, what are you, gay? Yeah. And like, not great, obviously not. But like, that's where it's left. Yeah. And it's the only time that that happens. Like when when he first joins the choir and the three guys are in the back of the auditorium, like you expect it to happen right there, too. But instead, it's really just Stifler being like, what the fuck are you doing this yes, for? Yeah, and yeah. that's like where it ends. Yeah. I was totally surprised very, in that very, scene. Specifically. Very surprising. Four years later, Freddy versus Jason will still drop the oh, F bomb. Yeah. Oh, oh, and yeah, I, forgot. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's funny because it's like this movie has that pivot, like you're saying. But then in the timeline, when they would have graduated college, Freddy Krueger is still saying it or whatever. Someone's calling Freddy <laughs> well, Krueger. Well, it's Kelly like, Rowland. It's Nick Kelly Rowland. Yeah, Kelly Rowland right. is uh, who says it. That Fred Krueger, he ain't no homophobe. Well, but that tells you exactly where it went. It started becoming something more severe. Like That's true. it was for more severe yes. movies, like a Freddy and a Jason. Right. Like extreme. It started moving that way. Extreme. Yeah. Extreme. extreme slurs. <laughs> Didn't someone say too though that that is, or is this a contended thing maybe between like her and yeah, the Yeah, some people think that it's a, it might have been improv. Ad-lib. Yes. Oh, and, yeah. wow. Nobody wants to take credit for that one, you know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so if you yes. can believe it. Well, I'll back away from the table for this. No, one. no, no, they uh, did. She ad libbed it. Yeah, but you I, know I, what? I, uh, yeah, and that meant I had to keep it in the movie. Exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, either way, the the final cut was approved as is. So, uh, you know, a lot of people were wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> so we get the... Uh, big prom. The stu- big, well, yeah, the, the prom montage of them getting everything ready for uh, their fuck night. Uh, and they Very get- nice uh, Mr. Levenstein moment here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very sweet when before he sends him off. I, I want mean- you to be very, very careful when you're putting on... The corsage. Yes. <laughs> Much better than the time when he's telling him about how his uncle jacked off all the time. <laughs> oh, like oh just, my God. Uh, uncle yeah, your, uncle, your uncle Mort five, six times a day. That's amazing. <laughs> I, you can't look Uncle Mort in the fucking face again. No. Hopefully Uncle Mort's dead. because <laughs> Otherwise, you can't be at a fucking dinner function with him again. Yeah, no, I can't get that information on a live relative. No. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Please no. I, I beg. <laughs> and I mean that it's also a weird it's not that same hallway conversation but it's the weird one where they're looking at the family photo yes and he's talking about like bouncing you know s- masturbation's like bouncing a ball against the wall it's fun but it's not a game yes <laughs> you want to part and it's a weird he's trying to figure out like does my son only like jerking <laughs> off or is he interested in a sexual partner you, you like, sh- don't let him be a weird pie fucker please you see uh, uh jim in the great escape when uh, steve mcqueen's got that ball he's just jerking off <laughs> he's just jerking off in his room that's what the half the great escape's yeah. about is jerking but what off. you want is a nazi to chase you <laughs> <laughs> uh but so yeah we get to prom it's at the school uh this fucking creepy prom band yeah oh, very man. very it's, sinister looking <laughs> yeah. well, it's, it's one of those things where it's lynchian thing it's weird yeah. as fuck a little bit it's not <laughs> explored they be enough. playing the bar room like you want someone like so like, oh man this band sucks or because other than that I'm like, I'm like what are we talking about with this band they're like the guy's wearing like a big fucking Kreskin-esque turban like you know what i mean there's multiple Kreskin turbans yes but you do and you get one you guys suck but it's not you want to get a character to say exactly you want, like, Stifler yep. to say it. it's but it's just like some random ADR. You suck. Yeah. And you want the thing where the band hears it. Because that's yeah. the other thing. It's just I I remember the moment. It's just a big wide shot of the auditorium <laughs> after they take a set break. And someone's like, You guys suck. But like, yeah, have Stifler say it. Have the guy in the fucking huge Kreskin costume be like, oh, you know, like have his yeah. feelings hurt or something. Um, but it is just yeah, it's just a creepy. Now we had we did not have a live band at our prom. We had a DJ. Yes, thank God for that too. Jeez. Yes. I I, yeah. I, I can't the, the wedding band for the prom. No, thank you. Yeah, I, I can't be doing that. Either of uh, you other gentlemen attend prom? I, don't think I so. did. I did. I did not. I, I was did, there for the after party, man. Me too. Oh yeah. Oh that after party. Wild after pretty party. Pretty bad. Pretty wild. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. Uh, it was. It was actually kind of funny because our after prom thing, and Chris was uh, older than us, so he just 
came, which was nice, hanging out, even though you, it wasn't your senior prom, but Chris no. was our chauffeur, which was great. He had a chauffeur hat. Very funny. Oh, yeah. It was but it was, nice. uh, the, the party was at a lake house. Very, oh, wow. very similar. Did you yeah. drink and, any uh, cum? Or? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I drank any cum. <laughs> I drank a lot of beer. I smoked up quite a bit. And then I fucking passed out on a deck chair outside. And this is like second week of May or something yeah, like that. I remember in this. upstate New York. I fucking fell asleep outside and it snowed. <laughs> and I was so passed out that I didn't wake up until my body was completely covered in snow. Wow, and I woke awesome. up and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. What's happened? There was like a death. Like, cause this guy, uh, much like you, Eric, this house was very close to a cliff. Yeah, yeah. And like all the cars were like right near parked right near the cliff. Oh, nice. So oh, now yeah. all the snow and ice had built up and like you were just waiting for one of these cars to go down and just like <laughs> go like pure sweet hair after That'd be and awesome. just, uh, drown a bunch <laughs> of kids. If all those kids died this night of prom, by all those kids I mean you guys. That sure. Yeah. That would have been nice. <laughs> But yeah, fell asleep outside and got completely covered. Quick in question: Did you terrible. guys have a uh, an actual venue, or was it school gymnasium? We had a venue. Is that uh, venue uh, lacrosse? This, this fucking. <laughs> you guys went to public school. Is that right? Yeah, it was, it was a public. I school. I went to public yes, school. Was. There weren't even fucking stall stalls for the <laughs> toilets. We had our. Yeah, they were. Yeah, the all your stall doors were at our. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they shipped them up My up God down. Damn. <laughs> And I, every single dance, yeah, it was like in all every single dance yeah. was just in the stupid fucking gym. And who would want to fucking go? No, all the other dances were in our our gymnasium, but the prom they they shelled out for, I guess, somewhere. Near I'm the sure egg. somebody I got forget. a fucking deal. Yeah, like so the Albany Convention Center. That sounds nice, right. nice room, nice yeah. room. I have to say. Uh, but so their prom, yeah, creepy prom band. This is they have the big like Jim and Finch and Oz are all over it, and they tell Kevin to go fuck himself, and I'm cheering in my living well, room because he's got this weird thing. He's like, "You still got to do it, guys," and they're like, "What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? What about what do you want me to fuck, dude? Show me what uh, to fuck, and I'll fuck it. <laughs> yeah, well, tell me what you want me to fuck. What, what are you gonna talk to Finch about? He just hot pooped himself yes. out of ever getting laid. I, I like he, he's got a nice little attitude with this when the speech happens. It's like, well, you know, at least I learned how to shit in school. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, that's that. Right. So he's not the only character besides Oz that does a little growing. See, now he can poop in yeah. public. That's look at that. Good for him. And, it, <laughs> and for a moment, you think. And Natasha Leone is very nice and gives him a flask. And for a moment, oh yeah, that's very sweet. Yes. And that, I thought that was a nice. And it's that her. again. And the, the the movie does really well with her because she also does. Uh, she very specifically, is like, but I'm not gonna fuck you. You know what I mean? Like yes. Because yes. I do think oh, that, yeah. like so many, not so many, like almost all of the women in this movie, ex literally except for her, are just like things to be got. You know what I mean? Right. And she yeah. is the only one that actually doesn't you know what i mean and yeah. is is over it and like has had sex is sex you know is sexually progressive and it's just sort of like yeah but none of these fucking dudes and like you know they, like I, mean, least, I think it's literally her jim's mom <laughs> and the fucking choir teacher yeah i mean they they try with tara reed except for like she trying to kind of just folds at like, yes, the mid, yes, like exactly. after after she comes uh uh we didn't even talk about the the scene where he goes down he on goes her, down but, uh, on her oh one right. good yeah. joke in that is the father coming upstairs yes. in attention and then she <laughs> yells i'm coming and she he assumes that oh she, she heard the dinner's ready i can just go back yeah yes. but you're right you're doing it uh, you had mentioned this Andrew. you're doing this at like 454 on a tuesday like what the <laughs> totally. fuck are you people up to <laughs> i mean you're i mean unless it's a thing where danger's your game exactly like, sure you know, you're still coming in solo cups. You don't know what your game is yet, okay? Like, wait for fucking mom and dad to go to the brewers for fucking, you know, uh, uh, a bridge, uh, and then you fuck. Ex yep. Uh, uh, yep. Excuse me, though. He has to make three weeks happen here. That's so he doesn't have the heat. <laughs> oh, that's rush true. It, baby. Gentlemen, we got to do it, guys. Guys, we got to get on it. <laughs> You go, There's... got your index cards. Get ready to wipe, brothers. <laughs> get ready I to do wipe. I do love. God damn, that's disgusting. Uh, I do love the the other. It's so goofy and stupid, but and it's not even. I don't think the actor doing it. I think they have like ADR of the dad just like humming his way like up and down the yeah, stairs, yeah, yeah. just like yeah. a <laughs> like yeah. a real fucking dumbass kind of hum. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. sort of adds to the quaintness of it. He's about to walk in on his daughter 
getting having someone go downtown. Uh, God, what a daredevil! Unbelievable. <laughs> this guy. Could do it. Like not even like, oh man, the dad's gonna beat you up. But then you have to be like, you just getting caught, and you're like, yes, sir, I was, yes, sir, sorry, sir, I will, yeah, I'm leaving now. Okay. Bye. But it's just like, I mean, you you get caught in the bedroom or something and it's like, you're, you shouldn't be up here. And you're just like talking on the bed. One thing making out on the couch. Maybe that's one thing. Yeah. You are face first <laughs> yeah. in this dude's daughter's crotch. OK, like it's that dude's probably taking a swing. Yeah. All right. Or throwing him down the stairs like. <laughs> Taking your collar. It's not great. But then the next morning, (laughs) she's just got to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, can you pass the butter? Oh, yeah, you want the butter to go down on you? It's like, what? You know, like, (laughs) that's where, that's the rest of that. (laughs) And then she's like, say. And then there's more food fucking. That's true. Oh. like that. Now it's a theme. (laughs) Uh, Oh, man. Speaking of fucking the, the multiple public humiliations in this movie, boy, the Shermanator gets his for telling tales out of school. Oh, yeah, the pissing oh, of man. the pants was. I was like, all right, it's too much, but it's fine. It's it's, fine. it's a little much, but we have to punish liars. Yes, yeah. you know what? I was laughing. <laughs> I was laughing a whole lot. And oh, talk about not being able to come back from y- something, dude. If you fucking piss your pants at prom, guess what? You are not walking across that stage <laughs> no. at graduation. Yeah. No. Everyone now has, you know, witnessed at least what happens with your pee pee floppy cock, and they don't mm. want it. <laughs> it made no. pee pee down your pants. Like, mm. Steve, you mentioned if you, I think this was on our Thor 2 episode. Yes. If you got caught. In a Moby esque oh, yeah. Natalie Portman thing, uh, people would find the next time someone would see you is a blurry photo pumping gas in Nevada. Yep. Like that's me if I piss my pants at prom. Like you would never see me again. Yeah. You that graduating class would be like, oh yeah, and then remember, yeah, Andrew Jupin, he pissed his pants at prom and then uh, promptly died that. <laughs> yes. Like you know, like they would think death. I was yeah. dead. They oh, yeah, for fucking sure. never see me again. Yeah, the fucking car would blow up in the parking lot. <laughs> Mom, Dad, you're just gonna have Thanksgiving alone for the next couple of years. I got at least a decade. At least a decade. I, I, you know what? Just wait till I can go. Uh, you know, I'll graduate college. I'll go get set up at an apartment, and then you to me. <laughs> you can come to me for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh man. So, oh, but yeah. So they do. They're finally like, uh, uh, you know, we're sick and tired of this shit, dude. Like, fuck you, Kevin. Uh, and they'll kind of like walk out on him, which is pretty sweet, except for like 75 seconds later, they make up. With yes. Him. Of course. And it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to end the movie. Because he's yeah. like, oh, oh yeah. I think I'm just scared, blah, blah, blah. And this is the montage where all it's. St- and here's the thing about Stifler's house and after party. And I'm going to, you know, your, your epic after party, Andrew. Did, did, was there a loner, bizarre, alcoholic mom stalking uh, around the house or no? No, it okay. was a straight up. The guy's parents uh, had like a spring and summer home in Vermont or something. And so they were like nowhere to be found. Yeah. And it was it, kids, kids, kids ruled the day that night. <laughs> Kid power. Oh, it, sounds it was like, so it sounds like you didn't <laughs> go to the seduction dungeon like I did. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the the dad was there, and he Ooh. was uh, he was piped up. He was really yeah. uh, piped ready to, up. <laughs> ready to Dude, go. So he he really got you there, didn't he? Well, no, I I walked out as soon as I saw him. He had a very husky voice, and I knew there was danger. <laughs> <laughs> But it's Wait, like, are you kidding me? Was that dude's dad there? No, I'm, I'm joking. Yes. Oh, I was like, wow, I fucking missed that. But I mean, like, that's the thing is, like, it's not a cool party if your mom is there. You know what I mean? Well, like, she's, yeah, she's we're hiding in the basement. It's just this sure. Finch is a snooper. But what's also interesting is, like, yes, all these kids come to our house and, yeah, fucking every single bedroom. Like, yes, whatever. Exactly. I can't wait. I can't wait to clean yeah. fucking 40 cummy sheets tomorrow. Exactly. Find fucking all the cups and socks and blankets and well, fucking uh, Hey, man, welcome bears. to managing an Airbnb, yeah. dude. What do you think those fucking people are but, doing? Yeah. But that's, you're, you're also missing the fact that clearly the, the Stiflers have a maid. They, they don't deal with their own laundry. Oh, that's yeah, not that's happening. This, this is all taken care of. The cum stains are going to be dealt with by well, their maids. Hang on. So let me ask you this, though, Steve. What and you know, feel free, the rest of the group to respond here. What is weirder at this post prom party where everybody's fucking and sucking till the sun comes up? Uh, Stifler's mom hiding out in a room that does indeed say do not enter. She should have locked that door, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I think that's maybe part of her trap. Ooh. <laughs> or, uh, uh-huh. 
But so is it is it that or is it the younger of the Stifler oh, yes. offspring hiding in closets hoping to get a that peep? And then he's else. like, you're fucking, 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 fuck, you fuckers. 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 fuckers, you fuckers, you fuckers. And like that kid, this Thomasy and Nichols, I guess, because you're 17, 18, you know, you're, you're always getting a. I wouldn't get hard for a week after seeing that fucking little nightmare kid. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no. this fucking pet cemetery. Like you're shit. you're trying to get down with your lady. It's been yeah. a it's been a rough month, and then suddenly yep. a disgusting little shit boy jumps out of the closet like a fucking nightmare. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> fucking fucking you fuck now fuck 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 you fuckers. You fuckers, Uncle Scrooge, you fucker. <laughs> oh, that was Tom Holland, his first film credit. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually trying to find the younger Stifler on IMDb because I want to see. It's, I've already done this. Th- it's not the oh, same guy. Oh, it's kid. not the same guy? Yeah, okay. I, I couldn't find that kid because the cast list is really long and disorganized because it's fucking IMDb. Um, he does apparently return for American Pie 2, according to his IMDb. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but, but it the, looks like that's it. It's a recast when they do the uh, old, when he becomes the series lead. Yeah, of when course. he fucking takes up the mantle of town pervert or whatever. <laughs> Uh, but now everybody's getting it. Uh, this, this, of course, the one time at band camp thing happens here where, you know, she, the funny and it, Alison Hannigan's straight up really, really fucking funny in this movie, too. Oh, yeah. um, oh my God. She's so funny. This is, this is yeah. what she's working on. Buffy. She's doing both. She's and she's always had a really good handle on comedy. And so if they're making. So what is the timeline here, Steve? What are we talking like season two or three? Yeah, it's, of Buffy it's probably two or three. If I had to guess. Uh-huh. And yeah. she's just. You know, one time telling these really long, inane stories, and the last one is I stuck a flute in my pussy, and then it's like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> it's and like, it's, wait, you're 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 a girl, and you have that? <laughs> you want sex? I don't have to like take it from you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> she does. I mean, she does have the great line of like, "You were an easy mark, yes. or whatever." You know, it, it, kind of. It's a nice funny. twist because, like, you know, obviously, like he's settling for her, and he's like, "Oh, I guess I will." But you find out she's uh, really settling for him. The the, the settling. Uh, it, we 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 walked away from probably the most uh, halting moment is. Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I guess that you could call this either way. But when when uh, Eugene Levy is sending him off, he asks, "She must be a very special girl." And he and Jim says, "Oh, she's special." Uh huh. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Um, that's a mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Great. So that is a masked. Uh, I'm, yeah. Uh, and he yeah. would later. I'm very glad that this guy is now getting to have sex with this woman. Not only very that, good that, that don't they get married this. in the franchise? Yes, they do. That's it. They, they, oh, yeah. There's the true that, loves. Ed Stifler lads, a uh, 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 Betty Draper. Or no, uh, January Jones. Really? Is the, yes. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. You know what? Maybe every summer we'll we'll do American Pie because I got to rewatch this. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just make my <laughs> life worse. Let's we should out after how that to do fucking it. terrifying <laughs> VHS trailer game. Nothing but trouble plus all the American yeah, Pie. Yeah, sure. Let's just everything it Eric's out. been uh, everything Steve's been lobbying for <laughs> for the last five years. You want to come to my house and take my whiskey? You want to? Do, anyone want to come I, to my I'm house? I'm actually take my out too? right now, so I might. <laughs> okay, good. And the, then, like, so they, the, everyone starts having sex. Uh, they're seeing- great uh, needle drop here, by the way. Everclear's uh, everything to everyone. Mm-hmm. Great tune. Yep. And the, uh, the 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 Jim and Michelle scene is the funniest because she's like super aggressive, and apparently it was improvised when she says, "Say my name, bitch." It's just kind of amazing. <laughs> Does she slap him in the face? I'm trying to no, remember. No, she just screams. So. Oh, maybe she does. I don't know. I, she I just, does. I think she oh, does, yeah. yeah. And just say my name, bitch, uh, which is humorous. And then oh. Oz. Do Oz and Mina Savari not have sex? Is that no, it? No, they have No, sex. they do. They do, they but they don't talk about sex. it. That's right. He, he does. does the, at the hot dog stand the next morning, he does the gentlemanly thing of he says to them that they didn't do it. Yes. Uh, yeah, so as to not brag and whatnot. Well, that, because of the storyline, they give them a very Nicholas Sparks-esque uh, mm, love yes. scene. Like, he's pulling the fucking little covers over his... Uh, his oh, groin. yeah. They're That's... they're fucking out by, like, this boathouse thing or whatever, and then, like, post-coital, they're just in this chair sitting on a dock. Gotta say, pretty saucy stuff. <laughs> pretty romantic. L.L. Bean, you should be taking notes here. <laughs> this is how you sell those fucking blankets. Get them out the stores. Well, it's, the American Pie fuck blanket <laughs> from L.L. Bean. Well, I mean, this movie kind of reminded me, which is not a great documentary, that... Uh, 
the Abercrombie and Fitch documentary about how white that company was. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I keep hearing about that. I haven't seen it's it. Not a, it. It's not It's like the the footage is good, the story is good, the documentary isn't great. One of those. You know, like, uh, sure. I, I hate when that happens yeah. with documentaries. Yeah. A wasted story on a bad doc. Yeah. Damn it. Um, but long story short, it's, it's a very white situation. It's a bit, uh, and so whatever. <laughs> and then like um, Kevin and uh, his and Tara Reid have sex, and it's like. We're talking about the pain of it. That's kind of what's going on there, and like they kind of break up right afterwards because they're. And it's kind of a nice like Vicky's just like, hey, you know, I'm going to school in Western New York. You're going to school in like whatever, like Northern Michigan or something. Like you would have to. I think Natasha Leone says at one point, like, yeah, it's a seven hour drive, and you got to go through Canada and all this shit. So she's Vicky's like, it just is not logical to do this, and he for a second tries to do the like. Oh, we can try. And then she's like, no, definitely not. And he's like, yeah, you're right. Like, it's a nice, like, yeah, yeah. let's just kind of, like, let this mutually fizzle out. No, Kevin, just wait for Thanksgiving. We'll get drunk and have sex again. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll revisit for every time I come back for the holidays. That is kind of what winds up happening, yeah. I think, in, in these in oh, sequels. I can't wait yeah. to find out next <sighs> summer. I can't wait to find out next <laughs> Steve, next summer. Do you know what happens next summer, What's Steve? That? Jim glues his hand to his dick with Superman. That's going to be so... Would you believe that, Steve? (laughs) I I, I can't wait to believe it. (laughs) You will believe a kid can be that fucking stupid. We should just dedicate a month to it like the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Yeah, (laughs) Oh, that's a great idea. Because then the American Wedding, I remember seeing that, and one thing that... The only thing that stuck... The only thing I remember about that movie at all... Is like he trims his pubes on his wedding day or something, and they and they yes. fly on the cake. They do indeed. So we got a pube oh, cake. Oh yes, you got you like that. that Steve? You got the grandmother. <laughs> I do love the, that. I love it. The grandmother is upset uh, that Allison Hannigan is not Jewish and yep. fucking flips out about that at one well, point. That's kind of yeah. cool. They're at least that acknowledging that you know that's what the character is. Yeah, that's that's something. Oh yeah. That's oh something. yeah. Yeah, totally. That's something. Um. Yeah, so they uh, broke up. And then I love Jim waking up and the fucking blow up dinosaur is next yes. to him instead. And she's just totally bolted. We don't see her in the rest of the movie. Yes. Like, that's it for, for Michelle for now. And he's like, she used me. She used me. She used me. <laughs> I made my parents I w- disappear. <laughs> yeah, totally, uh, totally. Uh, I was used. And uh, Finch and Jennifer Coolidge. Uh, not enough Je- oh, not, yeah. not enough for Jennifer Coolidge to do in this movie. I Jennifer agree. Coolidge, who is fucking hilarious. So good. In everything, in everything that she does except this movie, she didn't really make me laugh I, here. I don't know. I mean, I think she comes in and does a great keyboard solo and leaves. Yeah. Like it's, she comes in, I think she's... That's all it needs to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's kind of what I like about it. It's like... She was still, I mean, like, she had, I think, Legally Blonde's next year, and that's yeah. where she really takes off, and then Best in Show's, like, the year after that. Yes. Uh, but, like, this, I was like, this is exactly, like, because you would usually get, they, you would, I mean, I don't think th- they they picked a comedian. Yes. And they didn't go, like, purely yeah. for, like, let's just get hot. hot like hot, Shannon hot. Tweed or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah something right. stupid like that. No, she's very funny in yes. this little scene with him. I will say, when she says, uh, aged 18, 18 years, as I like it, my hair blew back like the Max L tapes. <laughs> like, it's like, really, okay. it's really something. And like, lady, you gotta check IDs. Like, if you're yeah. really, if you're really looking at fucking skirting that line, like you're gonna fuck yeah. someone. You're gonna fuck your son's little school friend. Mm-hmm. A lot of those kids are seventeen. Well, there's a yeah. lot of fucking November birthdays at your yeah. party, so you really gotta be careful. <laughs> she's walking the line with this one, but she's in all those sequels, so I can't say I can't wait to see what she gets up to next. Me too. Uh, there is a great, um, like when he first walks into the room, like she's like, yeah, like it's a billiards room and she's just sitting in a, a chair kind of sipping on some some scotch. And, you know, he's like, oh, Stifler's mom. Oh, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. And she says something about like, so where's your little date tonight? And he goes, no date. There was a bathroom incident. <laughs> and what's what's awesome is. The way that Jennifer Coolidge plays getting that piece of information, she's like, "Oh, I totally understand it." It's a, it's a. Yes. It, she doesn't say anything, but it's just the way that she like hears him and then is like, hey, "I've been there" or something like that. It's so fucking great. She's such a genius, and I think, I think she does bring it uh, in this scene. I just think that she's playing it a little uh, smokier right, than that's we're fair. used maybe, to Maybe it's being, because she, you know it's I mean? not on my top five for her, which is, which is oh, kind of about right. a little oh, bit yeah, of, oh, yeah. of all of its oh, own. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, oh, I man. mean, because this is, 
it's not the, you know, the loud, you know, bombastic doing a voice maybe with your character. Heard White Jennifer Lotus. Coolidge that we know. Oh. Fucking John Grise. I think he's part of Black Lives Matter. It's just <laughs> the fucking <laughs> funniest thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I hope she fucking wins that Emmy she got nominated she for. She should. Um, yeah, so that they just uh, do have a lot of sex. She uh, says something about, I don't know what her question is to him, but he says, yes, ma'am, I am. And they, like, get get it Well, it's kind of funny. It's, it's seducing me, the, like, the, um, the Oh, graduate. the graduate it's line. The graduate That's right. Line, yeah. Eddie K. Thomas is the, was the youngest of the, I think, of the boys in the movie, and he is, like, 17. So that's why you don't, they don't film anything. It's just, oh, yeah, totally. They just stand up, you hear some stuff, and then, like, later Stifler walks in, and it's all Sean William Scott. He's like, oh, hello there, you know, that kind of a thing. Yeah, so you don't hear anything. And it's actually, it's a good use of some some Foley sounds because she sort of, she gets up and walks toward the pool table and grabs him by the arm, and it's kind of like a whoa, and, like, she pulls him out of the frame. Yes. And then once he's out of the frame, you hear a bunch of pool balls clacking together. I thought that was pretty good. Not bad. Messing and- up the table. <laughs> And then Stifler, yeah, Stifler walks in on them and Finch is like, hey, Stifler, because, yeah, you can't film him collecting his underwear and running like a maniac <laughs> out a window. Stifler uh, fucking passes out, though, which is yeah. pretty funny. Uh, and then, yeah, we all have postcoital hot dogs, Ooh. boys. As, <laughs> Hell as, yeah, as, dude. Awesome. As you should. As you should. You should have Diet Cokes and hot dogs with the boys every time you have sex. <laughs> um, it sounds like a great night, dude. It sounds like a, it's, a good, it's a good routine to get into. Uh, oh, hell yeah, man. You just got laid. You go out for a couple of dogs. <laughs> That's Absolutely. the problem, man. You guys all move too far away. I can't get yeah, up to yeah. it. <laughs> I know. Damn. What did fuck Ray think? Yeah, you just go. You're like, hey, sorry, honey, you gotta go. Um, getting dogs with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're just still in bed. We just it's, happened. It's, you get three notifications in one day, and you're like, okay, I can't have sex today. <laughs> I just had three hot dog meals because they all had sex. <laughs> the boys needed it. The bo- gentlemen, yes. I'll meet you at the hot dog restaurant. What do you mean you're not coming? There was a hot dog packed about sex. Whenever you have sex, we have to get hot dogs. That's enough, Kevin. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Jim did anal last night. Chili dogs all around, my friend. Oh, my God. Uh, Sloppy chili dogs. I like that. <laughs> Slop it up. And dude. you don't know you don't know who who went where, by the way, in that anal. You'll never, no, you'll no. never figure well, it out. You'll right. never know. Oh, yeah. You'll never know. Actually, I will, but when I install those cameras, because I'm a <laughs> <You're> <laughs> geek creep. squad nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> That's he is a geek squad nightmare. Thank you for elucidating it. Absolutely. Uh it, it, I have a little extra alert here. There is a shot, one of the angles where they're filming the guys at the table, there's a shot where, like, the left side of the frame is Chris Klein and the right side of the frame, I think, is Thomas Ian Nicholas. And precisely in the middle of it. And, like, so these boys are on the edges of the frame, leaving plenty of space in the middle for this guy behind them. You see him, like, tons of ketchup, tons of mustard. And then, like, when it cuts back to him, it's just... You're watching this old guy. He's got like like long hair. Maybe it's a ponytail, and he's just like eating this hot mm. dog, like slowly putting this hot dog in his mouth. Amazing extra work. <laughs> mm. That's my order, dude. A lot of ketchup, a lot of mustard. Yeah, that's your um, post dog. <laughs> Kevin kind of has some other fucking bullshit thing here because it ends with like he raises a of glass of soda like to the next what a step, fucking and I'd just be like, piece God of shit. damn it, you know. We were all trying to have our post-coital hot dogs, and Kevin's making toasts with soda cups. God damn, that guy sucks. God, can we just stop inviting him to stuff? <laughs> his mother, his mother, you know, his mother's so nice. We can't. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> she's just always so nice to us. Shit. The most improbable part of this movie is that we have, like, a little sort of coda here at the end where... Somehow, even after humiliating her over the internet and getting her deported, <laughs> sh- Nadia is cool to log on with Jim and have another striptease session where right. Jim's dancing in front of the camera. Like I'd be like, I never talk to Jim again. Yes. Jim get me deported and ruined life. Jim ruined my life. I was supposed to get <laughs> scholarship to American college. Now I peel potato for the rest of life. <laughs> <laughs> no more ballet for me. 
<laughs> no, and like this is how like insecure are about these final seeds is that you have to put the two most popular songs at the time yes. yep. back to back yeah. to fucking do uh, it's it's a uh, semi charmed kind of life and uh, uh, and very yeah, reprise yep. of uh, one week. Well, that's the weird oh, part yeah. too, because like it's so choppy at the end. It's like Stifler walks in on him, hot dog scene. Now, because <laughs> you want to end on a joke, it's Jim and uh, Jim and Nadia, and then his dad is dancing in the yes. hallway because he tested well. Yeah. Well, because the dad yeah. now <laughs> he's he, now he want fuck now. Daddy yes. wants. Oh fuck. yes. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, Daddy well, that's kind of the weird part. Is like the, so he sees his son dancing with his shirt off, and he's like, "Say, now I'm getting an erection. Better cha cha down the hallway." Yeah. <laughs> do you think it's that, or do you think he's like, "Look at the cool moves of my son"? If that gets that model, who's for some reason interested in my boy <laughs> horny, maybe it'll get the misses horny. <laughs> Dare. Yeah. <laughs> him dancing though is fucking funny but you're right though steve it is because he tested mm-hmm. well yeah, absolutely that's, uh, so he's like, i didn't check the haircut situation <laughs> there but we should have been looking for some reshoots mm-hmm. or extra scene kind of haircuts here but that's pretty much it that's the end of the that's movie it. he yeah. dances away that's it until we get the to thing about sequels. all the needle drops <laughs> oh yeah the thing about the needle drops we're talking here about the back-to-back music it gets even more convoluted in the montage where they are all having sex because they give each of them their own song. Yeah. So That's each nice. storyline has its own That's song. Nice. But so when they, <laughs> <laughs> when they cut between them though, it's just like some asshole changing the presets on your radio to yeah. different stations and it keeps going back to, and it was, it's not a great way. I just to like the, the idea. Of the editing in this movie is uniquely bad. I think. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah, I would agree with that. But I just like the idea of like bare naked ladies. Parentheses. Jim's theme. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yes, that is the end of the movie. Go around the horn here, Chris Cabin. We'll start with you. Recommendations and final thoughts. I have to recommend, especially if you haven't seen it. I kind of think you have to see it the way I, you have to see Animal House or Caddyshack to understand. The comedy. I mean, I do think there are genuinely funny parts to this movie, but I I think it's a good temperature of what 1999 was like as far as where we were changing things, where comedy was going with uh, gross out stuff, but nothing. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I I was like, "Eh, that's not great. Oh, boy. Okay. And like (laughs) whole time. But like it is still funny. And there are certain performances that I think are very warm and well done. And yeah, I, I would say recommend like uh, Eric. Siska. I am basically going to agree with Chris. It's a light recommend for me. Obviously, there's stuff that's not great here, but there is there's genuine moments of f- funny shit in this movie. Uh, so I, you know, I have to kind of lightly recommend it because Jim's dad tested well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Steve? Yeah, it's a no for me. Uh, not a huge shock. I, I've never liked this movie. This afternoon didn't change my opinion. I do. I threw up my mouth a little bit when Chris Cabin compared it to Caddyshack. That's okay. We'll just do that. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. This is I'm the same breath. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah Chevy Chase, Bill Murray, Jason Biggs, Chris Klein, mm-hmm. all the same. You're totally right. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, I, but I, I get what you mean by the 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 cultural impact of the movie. It is one of those movies for sure. I, it just it it. I've never liked the dudes. I've there. I I got a couple of laughs out of there. There are, there's some funny performances strewn throughout this movie, but that does not a good movie make. And it just yeah. No thanks. Well, also <laughs> Caddyshack and Animal House have similar scenes where you watch it today and like Jesus. Oh fucking yes. Hell. How did we get away yes. with God? How did we get away with that? Yeah. Oh, I, I got an sure. idea. Maybe yeah. this will be an interesting project. We go through all of these movies, Steve, and then we uh-huh. go back to this one and then see what you think after you watch. <laughs> That's all, a good idea. What if we watch? What if we watch it once a month? Is that something we could do? Oh, there you go. Yeah. I after think we you got to. <laughs> All right, guys, remember, every time you get laid, we got to meet up and watch fucking American <laughs> while we're noshing on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of buds, come drunk, munching on some dogs, watching American Pie. You know how it goes. As boys do. Uh, I would recommend this movie. It's a light, light recommend, but I, I'm with Chris Cabin on this. I think it's an interesting cultural artifact, too, because uh, this is like, like, because can't hardly wait the year before it's not quite the same thing no. like america uh, 
uh, uh, Can't Hardly Wait is way more towards a John Hughes type thing. But this is more the like return to a boob comedy yes, thing, like what yes. the 90s were doing with like gross out boob comedy stuff. And you think about shit that was like around in the 90s also. I mean, you'll be surprised to know National Lampoon was still making movies this whole time. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you had shit like Senior Trip and The Stone Age oh, and man. all those right, kinds of things. Yeah. And this was like such a massive sensation. I mean, this exploded. This is what I mean, this movie. Ryan Reynolds can kind of thank this movie for having a career because oh, without sure. this movie, yeah. you don't have Van Wilder. That's true. And Van Wilder just had that dude like obviously explode. I know he was on Two Guys, a Girl, or Pizza Place before that, but like he exploded as Van Wilder. And I don't think Van Wilder gets made without this movie. So it's just kind of an interesting cultural thing. And there are some laughs, but I mean, yes, there are also a lot of things that don't hold up. I mean, shit, like the whole web stream thing is abhorrent. Yeah. And like, you know, you just, we were not thinking in terms of shit like that back then, unfortunately. And it's played as funny. And it's not. It's really fucking gross. But there are laughs here. Uh, yeah. So, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I, you know, I can't necessarily recommend really jumping into the whole franchise, but you know, at least <laughs> but we will one, be kinda, on this I'm feed. Sure. That's right. Next summer to uh, Steve Chagrin. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's it's interesting <laughs> that this comes. I think it's this uh, is the same year uh, as 10 Things I Hate About You. And oh, okay. which is, I think, a, a much better, much, much better movie. But also that kicks off the whole let's repri let's let's take on Shakespeare uh, which, again, no, and start doing that great. as as modern ideas. It's funny that they both kind of came out at the same time. They both were so like uh, seismic as far as influence goes. Right. And and you are right, by the way. Ten Things I Hate About You, 1999. Yep. Um, that is going to do it for this episode of We Hate Movies, folks. Uh, that is American Pie. Uh, if you want more We Hate Movies, of course, check out patreon.com slash We Hate Movies, uh, where this month there is a lot of stuff going on here, including a full length, two and a half hour We Love Movies episode all about my and some of your other favorite uh, MCU movies, uh, Iron Man 3. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so we got that going on. We got Melro 210, uh, Steve Sanders centric BH90210, which is nice. Yes. Uh, we got a weird, um, uh, what do you call it there? Uh, Tombstone esque uh, original series episode of Star Trek. Right. We've Spectre got of the Gun, the classic yes. TOS episode appearing on the Nexus this month. Mm hmm. Mm. And uh, who are we doing on the Gleep Glossary? That's our Star Wars side That's right. Show. So if you ever want to hear about Forlom, which I understand you don't know what that is, and that's fine. That's why you're going to listen to the Gleep Glossary, our Star Wars show. And we're, I'm going to tell you and the guys what Forlom is. Can't wait. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so all that and more, patreon.com slash we hate movies. Uh, now, Steve, on the main feed here, I hear that there's a new episode next there week. There is, and it is indeed the season finale of We Hate Movies. Ooh. Season 12 is coming to an end. <laughs> oh, my God. With. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> the Lost Boys. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. A little spooky like. ending to the season. Mm -hmm. I love it. Get your, get your body grease and your saxophone. Uh -huh. uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I will say right now, I'm fine of course, because uh, I'm a level-headed adult with this movie, The Lost Boys, being on the on the H feed here. But this would have been a WLM for me. I really like hmm. this movie. It'll be a lot of fun to talk about. Absolutely. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit of a nostalgia thing, yes. but I do like the movie. Yes, I remember really liking it back in the day. Haven't seen it in forever, so we'll see what happens next week. We will. Yeah, so until next week where we're playing the saxophone greased up on the boardwalk, I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Eric Siska. Chris Cabin. Take it easy. That was a HeadGum Podcast.